First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. You're now listening to the First World Order Radio. Tonight we have a special guest. Y'all know who that is. No doubt. For the panic is in the house. And he will be going into some deep info, you know, as he always do. And this is called the Pioneer Gland Gateway to Heaven. Before we get to him, we're going to bring on my co host, Brother L. Are you with me? Brother L, where you at? Uh, I'm here. I'm here, God. All right, there we go. We got yeah, you man. Right. All right, peace. How you doing tonight? I'm doing very well. Uh, brother Grand Sheik, how you doing? I'm doing well, brother. Just getting ready to get into this show. Phenomenal information is coming to us. We're getting ready to break on. Brother Panic right now before we get into it. All right. All right, what's going on? Your brother's there? What's up? Yes, yeah, we here. All right. We hear you. Shout out, to brother L. Shout out to Brother Lean. Shout out to Brother L, who is in the building. I'm saying Wednesday's yeah. night is, is, the, is the new science night, as we promised. Yes, so exactly. y'all need to start telling your friends, your family members, your children, your church officials, what's happening here on Wednesdays. You know what I'm saying? This is First World Order Radio. Get to know that name because we are going to be, as promised, dropping a shitload of science. And, you know, the beat goes on. You get what I'm saying? This drum yes, will never stop beating in terms of what we plan on doing. There's plenty of shit coming around the corner. We have just begun. So, you know, I want to see more faces out there because I know your faces show up or been showing up when I've done many lectures. So we're going to make that happen here now. So it's just a matter of time, and we're going to give out plenty of genius information. You know what I'm saying? So we don't waste. So we don't waste your time for showing up on Wednesday Science Night on First Order, First World Order Radio. Now tonight we're going to talk about the pineal, how important it is. Before we get there, um, you know, we want to give some attention, some shout outs, some love to Brother Bobby for what he's going through. Now, me, I know 
Bobby personally, and I know there's a certain amount of his personal business he doesn't like to put in the street, even though you heard a great deal or a great amount of him speaking on a lot of personal things, certain things, um, you know, um, he would rather come from him than someone else trying to interpret something. So I'm not going to interpret or try to speak on his health. I'm just going to say what I what I do know and I can say is that, you know, it's a, you know, they're going to pull through it, you know what I'm saying? But your help is doing a big deal. You know, uh, the sister Kali and the sister Sandra, Mama Congo and the brother Jerry set up a little fun for Bobby, which is absolutely positively on point and legit, and they have been receiving your donations. And um, based upon what he's going through, um, those donations are very important. Now, you need to really understand something. Bobby Hemmings is a college-educated brother, so if he decided to stay and do what the normal guy does, he would have pensions and, 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 and medical insurance and all the rest of that, but he made a choice to be that poor, righteous teacher to teach people. So it's a certain amount of the people that he has to depend on. So I was really overjoyed to see in this particular time a lot of the people stepped up their game, you know what I'm saying, and put their money in their mouths to help a brother who's given out so much information, so much energy to us. It's, it's, it, it, it would almost be ridiculous for me to dedicate a show to him because every show I've ever done in one way or another is dedicated to him because on a personal level, for me, in terms of my path, as I learned from many teachers, he was one who me and him had a personal connection or a personal synergy, a spiritual bond, and a lot of his training gave me a lot of shortcuts. If and that's and that's maybe an easy way of saying it, shortcuts in a, in a otherwise what could be a long metaphysical path. And this is done, and this was done from an unselfish place of constantly giving, 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 more patience than I even can care to even, or I would even know how to put it into words. And it wasn't just me personal. He was patient with a lot of people. And, in fact, one of his biggest deals with me was he would always ask me to be a little bit more patient with folks because this is what he was about, patience and giving people. So for y'all to be able to give him back, if y'all made a donation, if y'all could, if y'all could manage it, make another donation. You know what I'm saying? Every little bit is going to help him, you know, in this long struggle. Like I say, he's a, like I say, if you don't know his story, he was already a, um, after college. He was he was he was a designer, and he was already approached with a contract set written in stone that all he had to do was sign, and he would have been a very wealthy man. But he he gave that he made that he gave that choice up to teach us over the years, and me on another personal level knowing that it's not that easy. You know what I'm saying? He, t- he, he was teaching before there was an Internet network to sell a herb pack or a picture pack or some classes. It was only you had to wait till your phone rang, and it was sporadic. So in a very hard time when there was no network or social network, you had a guy who was able to put together – and try to survive at real with with, with, with with meager income, but yet he never stopped missing a beat at the quality of information he gave out. So in this time, we need to still keep him on our mind in terms of we, if no one else is going to support him but us. No one else is going to support him and his queen but us. So I, I just want to congratulate everybody who, who did a good job at giving him help. I know it makes a difference. And, and you know, and you know, it's good because my mom was like, "Well, we're gonna have to start clearing our rooms so they could move in with us." That's what we was on. But then it turns out y'all came through like champions. So all I'm asking is keep coming through, and I'm sure Linda and Bobby himself will be able to update you with any more information. I don't want to speak out of speak out of school. So you know, like every show I do. There's a certain amount of Bobby I carry with me, so it, like I said, it's irrelevant just to dedicate this to Bobby. Everything I've ever done is dedicated. I kept him in mind and tried to stay in line with some of the things, some of the wisdom that he shared, but do it my own way. So, so you know, just keeping Bobby in mind as we go on. 
you know, keep in mind as we move on. You know what I mean? All right. So tonight, and like I said, more than anybody I know who would want the show to go on in terms of science, it is that man. So we're going to hold true to that and deal with the pineal gland tonight. Now, with Aleem, the shows I'm doing with Brother Aleem, and out in this merger of First World Order Radio, um, you know, we're going to deal with a lot of notes. We're going to deal with a lot of science. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to get to no more fluff, no more jokes. You know, people used to ask me, you know, hey, Panda, let's get down to the science, you know, and let's stop playing. I'm like, well, it's free. It doesn't matter. But I, the revelation is I see a lot of people want to get down to it. You get what I'm saying? I see a lot of people want to get down to it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get down to it. All right. We're going to get down to it tonight. You know what I'm All saying? All right. All right. All right. So we need to understand, especially in this day and age, We I've already dropped that the cycle we're in, we're in the golden age. So it was actually the end of the world for the current regime, if you will. And, it, and it, there's no overnight process. There's no one day that's going to do it. The one day is just symbolic of a change that was on coming. So certain things in your body during the time where we were sleeping have gone offline. They have done something called atrophy. So it, it, the, 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 uh, the analogy is if you were in a coma for five years alone, you wouldn't be able to wake up, just get out of brush your teeth and start walking around. If you haven't used your legs, you have to retrain them. Certain parts that are within us have to be retrained. And one of the most major things now that needs to be uh, focused on is the pineal gland. The pineal gland is the gateway to God. Any realization that you can possibly have is going to start through that gateway. So no matter what you do down here to balance your chakras, your breathing, your kundalini, it has to have a pathway out. And if your pineal is blocked, calcified, or you just don't know what it's supposed to do to put your thought energy into it, you're not really doing nothing. What you're doing is getting what I see all the time, sporadic and random spiritual events because the mechanism is there. The idea here is to get into a situation where you are having a full, this gateway is open and you're having full-blown full revelations, controlling your reality, and so on and such. So let's get down to some basic information from my notes about the pineal. The pineal gland is a connection point for the spirit and the soul. It's the physical center for the transmission of psychic phenomena such as telepathy, clairvoyance, time and space, and the spiritual influence of thought on the, physical, on the physical surroundings. Now, because we've white folks are running this world, and they their pineals are so calcified, ours have become a little bit more calcified after. See, most pineals become calcified after uh, puberty, and but because we were using our psychic powers, we understood we were more than physical beings we still were exercising this pineal gland, therefore we would get more out of it. But because we became such physical entities, because the reality is now dictated by, by entities who cannot not go past this physicality, um, we have basically co-signed with that reality. Therefore, therefore, the spiritual phenomenon that backs up all the information that we've been receiving throughout the years, we... Uh, most of us can't back it up. You get what I'm saying? We need to activate this to back it up. When activated, the pineal gland becomes a line of communication with higher planes. Only when activated is how you're talking to higher planes. Most of you guys are all dealing with, you know, my grandmother and I had this dream in panic. I knew this was profound because, again, the mechanism is there and it's happening sporadically. And as you see, as we go through the notes and how the pineal work and is activated, which I will teach you tonight and give you tricks on how to do it, you'll find that this is happening random for you. This is what we're gonna. This is what we're gonna need to to make a permanent fixture in your mind. This is all that happens to me. I stay in constant communication, no matter what I do, even if I'm down at the at the goddamn local sub shop, because 
that portion of me is always working. It's just a part of my everyday mind. I don't have to go into a deep meditation. I don't have to go to sleep to find out anything I need to know because that line of communication is open. And we're gonna show. And by the end of this show, we're gonna you're gonna know how to do this as well. The crown chakra, the your crown chakra reaches down, and it when it reaches down, it reaches down like a vortex, and it reaches down and touches the pineal gland. So through the crown chakra is how you actually, uh, uh, it's a vortex that's pulling down the spiritual traffic, if you will. But it needs to hit the pineal gland as a connection point. And and what the pineal gland's function is, is to distribute light all around your being. That light is that knowledge for everyone who likes to call themselves light workers. Um. The prana or pure energy or kundalini is received through the energy center in the head. With practice, the vibration level of the astral body is prayed, uh, raised, allowing the separation from the uh, from the physical. Because ultimately, what you're trying to do is um, not make your physical life better. This is something that we run into uh, this wall with, and why nothing's happening. See, because we're not having spiritual revelation, so the very minor spiritual relation, uh, revelations we're having through just raw knowledge, what we try to do is take that information and become a better person, better physical person. You get what I'm saying? Now, this happens naturally in the mind. That's where you get the statement, black don't crack. And as we go further, you're going to see there's a, that, um, the process of DMT, which is your spirit which is the spirit molecule in melanin the process gets uh reabsorbed before it turns into dnt it, it turns into other elixirs and and it gets absorbed by the nervous system and therefore that's why your hands and your face and your skin is all that better because the energy that will be uh turned into the spiritual elixir that you need to have this communication is getting absorbed before it get there Gets to where it needs to ferment into that DNT level, and I'll and I'll get to that whole process of how to do that. Now, brother Penny, let me say this, yeah. brother Penny, because we, I just finished um, putting a post on Facebook concerning that, and what I what right. I wrote was that in order to raise the kundalini, the Mother Goddess principle, you must take in much prana chi or key energy. Right. When there is right. a key of prana. Chi or key energy, the kundalini will swell up. Right. You know, this mm-hmm. adds, you know, this added prana is actually extraterrestrial energy. Right. So when people keep asking about star energy, right, right, star energy, exactly. Yes, sir. You know, all yes, sir. Terra astral, it, it, in all we find here on Earth, or rather in Earthlings, right. You know, right. So I just can say that, but they can that catch be- on also from another angle. I'm glad I'm right, right, or angel, right. I'm glad you brought that up. That's interesting because um, one of the things Bobby explained was, you know, you hear extraterrestrial, you think it's an alien, but there's a definition that predated. There was an occult definition of extraterrestrial. It just means a star being. So therefore, you're an extraterrestrial. Terrestrial means star being. So that extraterrestrial energy that Aleem is talking about is nothing more than cosmic kundalini energy. There's a level exactly. of kundalini energy mm. in your body, that, but what you're really trying to do is connect with the cosmic snake. You get what I'm saying? And that's the, the snake reason, in the sky, uh, which, is, which is the cosmic the form of why, kundalini energy. That's right. Along with the cosmic okay, that's, the reason why they say, that's the reason why they say it's an alien or that it's foreign energy because it's right. outer or external energy, or, which is cosmic energy. And you have or to make un- it part of your inner or internal, part of your own personal life force energy. Absolutely. That's the whole idea. Or in the Bible, they'll call it unclean spirits because mm. it's represent- because they're trying to define it as something outside of your physicality. See, in the occult, um, and you'll hear me and have heard me talk about it for years, oh, the human, the human, the human, and people tend to think you're just talking about because you have to go to work and school. No, this is on the occult level of your, of the idea of humanity is not that you hate it as you hate your slavery, but you are beyond it. 
because you understand there's a greater portion of you. There's a bigger part of your kundalini, a bigger part of your chakras, and so on and so forth. So the idea is you need to separate the humanity from your true spiritual being, and by doing that, you're going past it. So you would, you, you'll hear a person talking down to it, but it's really not an emotional thing you're getting into. It's almost something, it's, it's the way you're getting, it's like you're over the relationship. You get what I'm saying? So now, right. as we're talking about, as this is a cosmic force that you're trying to have a realization of it, the connection point that that these two worlds meet at is the pineal gland. The pineal gland mm-hmm. takes that cosmic light and interprets it into usable light that we can define as psychic power, clairvoyance, clairaudience, uh, uh, the mastery of space and time, telepathy, and all the rest of that kind of jazzy shit that people are trying to get into. So if the pineal gland is shut down, then you have closed the doorway, in other words. You have closed the doorway. So we're going to get into techniques on how to reopen that doorway tonight. To activate the third eye or perceive higher dimensions, the pineal gland and the pituitary body must vibrate in unison. The pineal gland looks like a little penis, and the pituitary gland looks like a cowrie shell or vagina. In fact, that's what the cowrie shell is mimicking, the feminine principle, the great mother, the vagina, and the pituitary gland. And it, it the pituitary gland... Uh, uh, sits over all of the elixirs in your body. While the pineal helps, one of the roles is to distribute light. Sperm represents the light, the feminine principle, that. So when they say sex and creation is in the mind, uh, uh, this is what they're talking about. And for that, I'm going to go read you something real quick because I want you guys to keep this in mind as we move, as we move on with this lecture. This little is from a book called Darkness Visible. And you'll see one of the primary things you could do to activate the process of the pineal is deal with darkness. And I'm going to give you some techniques you could do. One of the books you could read to understand the history of even the initiation systems, most advanced initiation systems on the planet, deal with a period of dealing with darkness for pineal activation. Some things we may not be able to do. We're talking about days and days in dark rooms under you know, and this this you still could get that from Montauk Chi in them now. But to understand the concept, I'm gonna show you things that you can do that still will work for you where you don't have to go that extreme. But a good book to understand this concept, skipping ahead, is a book called Darkness Visible Visible, Awakening Spiritual Light Through Darkness Meditation by Ross Haven and Simon Bus Buxton. Everyone should have it. On page 72, he says, Dr. Edmund Jacobson, for example, demonstrated the link between mental imagery and the body of bodily effects that shows that we can change ourselves physically using the power of the mind alone. Jackson asked people to visualize themselves running, then measured muscle movement in response to the, uh, of their images or to their images. He found that their movement was essentially the same if they were actually, as if they were actually running and that the body received the health-giving benefits of this mental job. So, again, what he just found out, basically, you can sit on your couch with your mind and pretend to jog and it's just as effective as your ass running around the block with a stick. This alone opens the world of it all happens into the mind and physical is only second to your thought pattern. So we need to start first and foremost, and this, this is the key point visualization to magic, if you know what it is. The key point to visualization of magic. With the pineal gland open and you're able to communicate through the crown chakra with higher cosmic light or understanding, the visualization spectrum becomes wider. How I know this is not working? Because everything you ask about magic so far has been about how do I find a girlfriend, boyfriend, pay the rent, so on and so forth, meaning your greatest visualization, the ceiling on what you're trying to accomplish is so narrow because you're not having or open to higher cosmic kundalini cosmic realization, 
cosmic prana. So so this particular so your library of light, your database of what questions to even ask, your 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 database of what to even try to do in your magical work hasn't even been open yet. Because only the only thing has been open is your database of what you would do anyway. You don't have to do nothing magical for what you're asking. You want to find your soulmate? First try to, I could just ask you, well, explain to me what your soul is. Then how do you even know you need a soulmate and you don't even know what your soul is? And that's what's real talk. You get what I'm saying? So, 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 it, so it's all you really want is a boyfriend and girlfriend to spend some time with. The answer to that is nothing magical, just get some cologne and wash up. You get what I'm saying? Um, all, all you want is to pay your rent. The answer to that is nothing magical. Update your resume. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? So we need to we need to think bigger. You get what I'm saying? And the only way to think bigger is you need to have access to a bigger idea. And that bigger idea, that bigger idea is going to happen through pineal act opening up this this top part of your mind. Now, I've talked about it for years. That's what the herb pack does. But you, but all the herb packs, all the herbal teas, and all the rest of the things you can do that we're going to lay out tonight, um, it needs to work with the understanding or the thought system. You have to be going for something. That's why I read to you about how important visualization is. So much so, let me say it again, these guys only pretended to jog Dr. Jacobson found out that all the benefits of actually jogging is just the same as someone who sat and pretended to jog in their mind, which means, which means your mind is the key. So once you line your mind up in understanding why it is you're opening your pineal gland, and I know I can speak like this because I'm doing the classes, and, even, and when I, whatever subject I bring up, everyone seems to know about the subject. But no one has an inner understanding, no inner reach. They they can tell me the, the 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 YouTube version of it, the lecture version of it. But what does it mean to you? That's when they're at a loss. You get what I'm saying? So yes, so, which is fine because now it makes me understand how I need to teach you to be more effective instead of just complaining about how effect un, ineffective people have been with their study. So you need to understand what it is you're trying to do here. You get what I'm saying? You know, everybody here knows about the pineal, I'm sure. But what are we trying to do here? That's what we're finding out today. Right. All right. When the correct relationship is established between personality operating through the pituitary body and the soul operating through the pineal gland, a magnetic field is created. This is this is these what those two snakes represent. That negative and positive polarity. Um, raise kundalini at the top of your head, facing each other. What they're talking about is the pituitary and pineal in the unison. In a in a, a electricity starts to form around in that area. This is also represented as the crown of, of Osiris, that big shit on his head with the two snakes. Um, uh, it, uh, the or the upper crown, the upper and lower crown of Egypt kind of connecting together. They'll say the pineal is the red and the pituitary is the white, whichever one was upper and whichever one was lower. I think the lower was the red or whatever. And it's representing these 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 things coming together as the harmony between the masculine and the female or the soul connection in your own mind, the spirit and the soul of your own mind. That's the androgynous concept of the physical concept of you trying to find a soulmate when you don't even understand the concept of soul, which is actually just the other part of you that's missing. But most mm-hmm. people don't know themselves enough to even know what's missing. You get what right. I'm saying? Yeah. You just want a girlfriend. You just want a boyfriend. You get what I'm saying? So all these doing these soul readings, they're just trying to find out how to get laid. You could just went on eHarmony, you know what I'm saying, and save you some money. Right. The negative and positive forces interact and become strong enough to create light in the head. That's represented as the aura, or you'll see the saints with this light in the head, or this illumination of Jesus. That's what they're talking about. These two snakes meet, and this negative and positive polarity meet, and this light turns on in the head. Now, I've come across people who can see auras and see see lights, and straight out told me, 
yo, I see these aura and this light, this glow around your head, the shit you see from church, like Jesus. I said, well, thank you very much. You only confirm I've been putting in work. And that was right. actually Rob's wife who could see spirits. She could actually see this light around her head. In fact, I have a whole mantle of saints, candles. And she, you know, of course she was able to see spirits. You know, she's real reserved because she would just say stuff or she's learned to be reserved because for years she would say stuff and people would look at her weird. I'm like, well, you're in the right house now. You know what I'm saying? Just let it go. You know what I mean? So she was saying it in a reserved way. She said, yo, you look like those people in those pictures. I'm like, really? Well, what's up? She said, the light around your head is like those people in the pictures. So later on, I was like, well, yeah, tell her, you know, tell your wife to tell you. And she was getting down. Yo, that, this, and the fairy, this, that. I've seen this and this and that, and I can feel this and blah, blah, blah. Because what's happening to me physically, I'm the same OG. You get what I'm saying? If I went to my family reunion, the niggas would offer me pig skins just like anybody else. You get what I'm saying? They're not there to see that. But I know the spiritual alchemy, that's why I keep pointing out these are two different things from rising from a humanity changing and personality changing versus your spiritual light coming online. That's a different thing. Because remember, the the portion of you that's coming online is the forever portion of you. The the part of you down here is 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 dying since it was birth. It is meant to be a vessel for 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 you to do this work, not for you to raise the vessel up. You get what I'm saying? It's a vehicle for you to get to the next place in alchemy. So we, we're putting too much stock in this vehicle. You get what I'm saying? With this light, the head is activated. Astral projections can withdraw, uh, they can withdraw themselves from the body, carrying the light with them, meaning now you can take your consciousness into that light world. Once this pineal doorway is over, we're, we've been calling it astral traveling and astral projecting. But once this pineal doorway is open, you're able to take your whatever it is you are here to that world and bring that world back. So I, I'll be in that world absolutely competent based upon me being – I open the doorway. So now there's not sporadic spirit, so-called spiritual revelations as a human – or sporadic human revelations in the spirit world, which meaning I don't have these dreams. I'm like, oh, my God, that one dream was profound, meaning in the spirit world something human happened, or or in the human world something spiritual happens. The worlds become merged. I walk between both worlds based upon pineal activation. Now, to know what we're talking about here along with a herb pack to help you, Brings that even just because the mentality. When you see, when you change the mentality of or the agenda of what you're doing, it becomes a different thing. For instance, and here's an example of it: you could be fucking just to get a nut, you could be fucking for tantric, tantric practice, and you could be fucking to have a child. All three are the same things: mm-hmm. fucking. But your intentions bring something else. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not fucking to have a child, I'm not busting in or oh, whatever I'm not doing to try to not have one. I'm fucking to have a child. I'm trying to do this, that, the other. So it's the same act, but a different intention. So when I'm trying to give you all the same act, some herb packs and all the the other meditations and all you've been doing, but we need better. Now I'm finding out from doing these classes, we need better intentions. So the intentions are what we're trying to to get here. And this is how we're going to get down to business on Wednesday night. Like I said, you need to start telling your friends because it's going to go down here. This show is what's going on right now. This, is, this will be the hottest of the hotness hot. I'm saying the new world, the first world order. The name <laughs> all the right, show. all right. And, and it is what it is. We ain't going to play around no more. Right. The, prim- the pineal works primarily by converting higher dimensional light that is constantly streaming into your reality. It's, it's into usable information for your pituitary. So you understand why both of these things need this synergy now, because the higher light needs to be processed some kind of way. The pineal gland processes higher light or extraterrestrial stars, nothing more than just light. And the pituitary now distributes this thing and in the form of elixirs as well that come online, which eventually become DMT. We're going to walk what path to get to DMT, but eventually becomes the DMT. 
But, again, most of it gets absorbed in the system because our intention for what we're doing, we don't know how to keep it or turn that water into wine. That's what Jesus was doing in the mind. You get what I'm saying? We don't know how to do that particular alchemy anymore. And there's tricks and tips and all the meditation, even up into humming. I'm going I'm to give out some tips on how to do this. So let me repeat that. The pineal works prim- primarily by converting higher dimensional light that is constantly is constantly streaming into your reality if your pineal is open through the crown chakra into usable information for your pituitary. That's what we're doing here. It, as it gradually activates, the pineal permits the body to move its vibrational pattern into higher and higher levels. So this is something you don't see, again, as I pointed out. My vibration is higher, and that's my concern. The way I talk to you and say hotep or I no longer curse is irrelevant. It has nothing to do with personality or human communication. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to raise that up. One thing has nothing to do with the other. My, My understanding of myself is the key. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My understanding of myself is the key. And in fact, so much so, I could not find a soulmate, Khadija, until I understood myself. That was my realization. When I got deep into myself is when Khadija emerged. If I'm sitting around, walking around, looking for or I'm looking for something for my human ego or personality, someone doesn't get in the way. So she's not for my human ego personality. She is absolutely what I need when I figured out who I, who I was. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So there's some days you just say, God damn, boy, if it was legal to throw that person out the window, you would do it. And I'm sure I'll be right there next to her ass being ran over <laughs> in her green car just as much. But we understand she takes me to another level. She is the other side of the vibration that's missing. But I have to know where I'm at least vibrating my purpose. So you don't get to say, what's my purpose here? Why am I here? And then I need a soulmate. No, you just need a boyfriend and girlfriend for what you are right now. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you, By the time you get to the soulmate, you, 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 you're at a point where you know what you are. You get what I'm saying? And then you know what you need. You know, See, if I would have, Khadija says it all the time. If I would have met her 10 years ago, she's just been a cute girl. You get what I'm saying? Because I wasn't where I'm at, and she would be the same exact person. She said the same thing. I'd have had no wins back in the 80s trying to get at her, trying to take her to see, you know, Dots Effects, Bum Stick People, and now you ain't got no wins. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. But, but, but now, you know, I've been like, what's really wrong, Khadija? You don't really like me? You know what I'm saying? You need to get your corny, iggity ass out of here, then, bro. You know what I'm saying? She said, no, you wouldn't have, you know, you, 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 my ego, I'm like, oh, I would have scooped you, you know what I'm saying? No, you no, you wiggity wouldn't, nigga, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you wiggity wouldn't have. So, <laughs> so I'm like, um, but but it, we both had to get to a place of knowing ourselves. And when you hear her story, it's her, you hear her story of removing layers, you know what I'm saying? So you got to understand about the soul the soul is something you will never understand on planet Earth. It's, it represents the concept of your being. Too. So, so everything you're doing is kind of for the concept of soul, and which is true self, if you will. So the soul is the only thing real about you. So the idea to get down to certain things that are real about you, you need to take a look at yourself. You cannot just say hotep and pata and I am not a Tamahu, and somehow has gotten down to a reality. That's not what it is. It's things in your ego that you must strip away and come to terms within yourself. It's a certain amount of vulnerability that you must respect in yourself. That's where you get in the Bible, you submit to God and you're humble to God. You're just humble to your own self, your true self, not your ego. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not talking about false humility you meet somebody and be like, oh, hotel sister, my beloved, wonderful queen on my, that shit ain't nothing but a, a goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Let her throw some ketchup on your shirt. <laughs> oh, bitch, you done lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, hotel, you know what I'm saying? So it's all a fake ego thing. 
That's yes, not sir. what you're trying to cultivate. It's like something where you have to look at yourself and say, I know I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Let me stop. You know what I'm saying? You should hear the people in the, my classes in the beginning. What does that mean? Well, uh, blah, 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 blah. What, does, uh, what does Kabbalion mean? They give you a, a hard, detailed breakdown of Kabbalah. I said, no, that's Kabbalah. Not, I said Kabbalion. It's don't, and then you hear that by the third person, you hear the Wikipedia shit <laughs> that they start Googling, or you hear what Bobby said. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, I, what's an ancestor? Well, they live in the blood in your DNA. I'm like, look, I was there when Bobby said that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, they'll, and they'll giggle. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see nothing wrong with that because that's where we're learning from. So it shows me that they're hearing what they're learning, but it's so hard in lecture format to get such detail out. There's things I've talked about in lectures. I've hit a fragment, and we're doing three hours on that fragment in class alone. So you'll never get down to it. You've got to go with the best-case scenario book list. But here, based upon my experience dealing in class, you're going to get a lot of work done. Y'all need to be here for this. Y'all need to tell folks. You know what I'm saying? Now, um... Let me see. It was uh, buh, 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 buh. so so the pineal permits the body to uh, move its vibrational patterns into higher and higher levels. This is that spirit or etheric or that light being that you like to brag about yourself. This is the true re realization of it. The pineal gland does that. The process allows your light body to attach itself, e uh, attach itself even deeper to your physical instrument. See, your light body or this light frequency is further away from you now, especially now because you have become such a physical being, a product of the public school system, a product of you think the ceiling on what it is you are is intellect. So your light body is further away from you. By opening the pineal, you're walking. This is what I talked about earlier. I don't have to go into meditations and ohms and close my eyes to figure no shit out. I'm in constant communication with the spirit. We can talk to Bruce Lee right fucking now if we like. You get what I'm saying? Right. Constant communication because by doing this particular work, it opens up your light body, and your light body is closer. Let me say, say what it says. Again, this process allows your light body to attach itself even deeper to your physical instrument. So so your physical body is an instrument, and what, you, what you're trying to do, what we've always been trying to do, is have the most perfect instrument you can. Not the perfect man or the, or the, or, 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 or the perfect human, but the perfect instrument as a vessel for this higher shit, to walk around in this knowing for the purpose of alchemy. So by doing this, this puts you at, this makes you a magical person, a true spiritual person. It doesn't make you a better, uh, 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 not, not, not necessarily a better communicator or better friend on Facebook, but it makes your realization, those things that eat at you in the middle of the night, and I know they do because I ask the question, you're able to answer and go within and find them out yourself. The chemical lens. Okay, our process is to res Reset the focus of the pineal. The chemical lens largely disappears as you grow older. It decreases in its efficiency is one of the major reasons your body starts to age so quickly as it does. Now, that's for white people. That's why they look beat the fuck up earlier, sure. um, earlier than we do, because pineal, and we're going to get there, is largely responsible for melanin. And since we are melanin, look at melanin as a magical substance, a magical electricity from the ancient world. Because we have been around so long, we have the mastery of melanin, this ancient subject, substance that shows up in every single entity, every single thing on earth. It is, it is the force from Obi-Wan Kenobi. It is the force. Now, because they have very little mastery of it, very, very little physical production of it as well, they suffer. If you look at all them half-white people who was on a different world, Jasmine Guy and them, motherfuckers look like they fell out trees. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They, 
Exactly. All of them. Ron, <laughs> exactly. Freddie, you know what I'm saying? The only nigga on that motherfucker that looks normal is, is Dwayne Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Sinbad, all the motherfuckers. Like, the dealers is watching the motherfuckers going, God damn, what the fuck happened to them? I said, they're parents. You know what I'm saying? No melanin, you know what I'm saying? They get it hard. That, remember, remember the TV show Girlfriends? They had Diana Ross's daughter with the white girl. Oh, she is right. fucking horrid now. You know what I'm saying? What? Their fucking expiration date without melanin is terrible. You know what I'm saying? This is bad news. They are they are bum skidding the bum skidding the bum skidding fuck up in the game. They can't even say You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck <laughs> up in the game without this melanin. Now, now for us, now see, here's the difference. Now with us, when the melanin's coming, what we're doing is absorbing it back into the nervous system. That's why we look better. But this is a spiritual thing, the spiritual aspect, which is the DMT aspect, um, and we're going to get into it, is the spiritual aspect of melanin that we can also tap into that we're just not doing it. You get what I'm saying? Or it's happening randomly. So that's what we're going to get past it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, them people is fucked up. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? They they are doing they are doing real bad, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure they're doing, people. Yeah, they're doing real bad. Hair and everything all beat the fuck up. Like, remember, you, there was a time you wanted to see Jasmine God's titties. Right. You can leave, all, you can leave them alone now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she need to put a bra on, you know what I'm saying? You look at her now, you need to go put a bra on. <laughs> You used to watch different. Let's be real. You used to watch that show. Be like, I want to see whose nipples is banging his A on the show. <laughs> Freddie, you know what I'm saying? Now they need to put a bra on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. So it is. So the pineal calcifies. There's this layer of of thick fog on it. Now they're more hard pressed to decalcify their pineal. And then, I really, to me, I don't think they're really doing it. Now, early on, Bobby, Brother Phil, and, and those masters talked about calcified pineals and the dangers of it. <laughs> they talked about and taught on how there's this phenomenon on Earth called spontaneous combustion. Basically, white people are just blowing up, and they don't know <laughs> what the fuck this is all about. So Phil and Bobby decoded that what's happening is they're and usually these white people blowing the fuck up are in the middle of a relax a relaxing moment. So as Aleem has taught, the, the the frequency of Kundalini at the base of your spine is absolutely hell. You get what I'm saying? There's mm-hmm. people who raise Kundalini and make melt snow. You get what I'm saying? In 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 in, in the Tibetan mountains. That's that's the level of the game they're practicing on it. But what they're really trying to do there is make it a physical make physical manifestation. I don't think us as black folks need to try to make physical manifestation. We need to be dealing with spiritual manifestation. But then again, this is your choice. But the point is, when that kundalini rises, it needs a termination point. That termination point or that point where it's an access hub, let's just say that, or or switch, as they used to teach us in science class, um, is the pineal gland. So with a calcified pineal gland, if they manage to raise this kundalini, boom, they blow up and turn to ash, or 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 the or either at night where there's a lot of kundalini activity where the melanin happens, the melatonin. We're going to talk about it. Um, it if there's if it doesn't hit the pineal, it doesn't get absorbed in the system. And it, it needs to be turned into melatonin, which is what's been helping us in the in the pineal gland. And with a calcified or a so calcified pineal gland, they can't distribute it around their body. That's why they're all fucked up. So we can distribute it through the nervous system. So again, during the eighties they started selling melatonin and you know, uh uh, you know, in the stores. And they claim they were getting it from cows and, and all this, but they probably just synthesized it from some. They, they, I mean, you know, you can look, there's all the conspiracies involved. You know, the Atlanta child murders. They was taking pineal glands, learning how to synthesize melatonin for the future. Don't quote me on it. That is just one of the things that was said at the time. Right. And and uh, and and ultimately, 
when people were taking, black people were taking this melatonin, they were having these erratic dreams because you would, because the melatonin is the dream molecule. You get what I'm saying? So you were actually having other people's dreams. So if, it has been said a thousand times. Bobby and Phil have said it, but I'll say it if you never heard. Melatonin is not for us. Store boy, do not take that shit. We can manufacture our own. It's for them. Right. In all, in all, in all of these other byproducts, uh, uh, choline, choline or whatever that is, they use on the lips, but there's still elastic choline for the skin. Oh. There's about three other things that they sell that are melanin-related, all beauty products. And um, all of that's for them, you get what I'm saying? All because the pineal gland, their pineal gland is so small and calcified. Now, it gets bigger when you were a teenager, but then it shrinks up. But the meditations, right. the chanting, that's, 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 the, uh, that's where the science of um, that's where the science of the pea brain. Um, right. Oh. Oh. Know, okay, so when they call the motherfucker pea brain, exactly. Right. Pea brain. Right. <laughs> brain. <laughs> right. The pea brain. See, 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 white people is pea brain, motherfuckers. Pea brain. <laughs> that's what I'm right. And, and that would be it. I mean, right. That's pea, what they call it. Pineal. Pea. Right. Pineal. Pineal. Euro pea. Uh-huh. Pee right, <laughs> right. He's pee banging his nickels. <laughs> okay. So when the pituitary uh, gland begins to receive the conscious energy packets from from the well of dreams through interaction with the pineal, basically you open your pineal gland, and then the pituitary is able to receive from it. It secretes enzymes that permit the chemical lens in the pineal to reappear. So when you're doing the work, the pituitary then starts to activate the pineal gland. So basically, it, 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 the, the pituitary gives rise to the black man. The feminine gives rise to the, to, to the divine masculine again. That's, that's what that means, folks. So this lens begins to reappear. As the lens strengthens, it allows the RNA and DNA protein strings and your cell to activate the third strand. See, we're talking about DNA activation here. Ah, okay, now, y'all better listen to what I'm saying. The pineal gland is located in one of the oldest anatomical, anatomical regions of the brain. It is, if you draw an image, imagery line from the center of your forehead, cross the line through the uh, through your ears, you have its general location. So in the middle of your middle of your head, as we all should know. The pineal is cone-shaped. It's about 8 millimeters, one-third inch in di- diameter, weighing from 50 to 150 mg's. This gland is both most active during childhood and begins to regress about age 7, becoming calcified, uh, t- a, a calcified tissue strand in the adult. See, what happens is eight, up until age 7, which is the key point, is when you start hurting your knee, falling off your bed, touching the hot stove, and all the rest of that kind of jazz. This is when you start to become protective and more aware of your physical. Because you remember when you were young, you would be into doing a bunch of dumb shit off the edge of your bunk bed and all the rest of that. You had no concept of pain, skin, knees. And I've, I'm a guy who remembers my childhood. In fact, I remember having the mind I have now as a child. I remember my aunt changing me and sticking me with a ran out of pampers, put a fucking uh, a sheet on me, lazy hoes, and just started and stuck me with a pin. <laughs> I remember this shit. You know what I'm saying? While they're changing my diaper, I'm going, oh, wait till I grow up. I remember if you there's a movie called Being John Malkovich, which I do break down, Being John Malkovich. And if you've never seen that, it's an excellent movie by Spike Jones, real metaphysical. There's this gateway uh, filled with filled with symbology. There's this gateway that leads to John, the actor John Malkovich's head. And these people were able to go into John Malkovich's head and have this experience. One of the dudes that centers on John Cusack and the girl, uh, something about Mary girl, and she was a pup. She was a animal trainer. He was a puppet trainer. It represented the human the human state, animals and puppets being controlled. Wow. And it, wow. it represented the it represented the demiurge, um, this this control. So so in everlasting life through 
through regeneration. Now, these old secret society people wanted to get in John Malkovich's head and stay there. But the young John Cusack found it and was trying to use it for his own purpose, if you will, and controlled them. Long story short, without giving away the whole entire movie, John Cusack gets stuck in the, in, in the body and becomes a baby again. Now he's fully conscious as John Cusack. But he's like, yeah, I can't move my hands. He was complaining in the end because he was just baby, basically a baby. Mm-hmm. Now this is based upon... There is a book, Alan Karniak, I believe is the name, The Spirits Book. It's a hard book to read through. It's a book from 18-something where it's nothing but a bunch of channels in the book. So it's this guy who's talking to spirits, so it's random conversations. So you'll be hard-pressed to follow it. But in that book, he talks about ego poisoning, and he talks about it, he talks of a story where there was this young group of gods, and they were talking to these older gods. And the young guy said, we're going to go down to earth, you know what I'm saying, hang out, chill out. And these, and the young group of gods, uh, the older gods were like, oh, you don't want to go to earth. You're going to get something called a baby brain. He's like, fuck that. We're gods. We can deal with it. He said, no, 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 no. You ain't going to be able to make it out that baby brain, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You better stop that bullshit. So I remember <laughs> having the the the... What I had to build up in my consciousness, I remember having it, and I remember as a child, as I grew from age zero to seven, seven, how my consciousness like was taking more and more of a back seat. The more I hurt my leg, the more my mom said, "No, you can't have a cookie. No, it's time for bed. Don't do that. Sit up straight. Eat all your spinach. Don't leave the table till you eat your peas." And exactly. She could be doing this all for good. It's not necessarily something that's corrupt. It's just the shit that you won't put one to do. He was a god. So what this is happening is conditioning your humanity. Therefore, your spirituality takes a back, back seat and becomes a bitch. You have to reattach yourself back to this, and that's what all the meditation and all this shit for. One of the tricks you could do, one of the tricks you could do, let me see who's that knocking. That's Kenny. One of the tricks you can do, what the slaves used to do, is hum. What the humming does, it starts to vibrate. It starts, you, you stick, like, like Brother Wayne teaches, you stick the tongue at the roof of your mouth and just hum while you're doing nothing. So when they was out in the fields humming, they were vibrating the pineal gland. And this helps to break up some, this helps to stimulate the, t- the pineal gland. It helps it faster when you put your tongue at the top of your mouth and just hum. Sing whatever fucking shit you're singing. Nicki Minaj, <laughs> the Oopa Loopa song, whatever it is you do, Sing that or do do whatever or just hum on, if you will. And this thing, this will help. That's one trick that will help vibrate the pineal. And that's that's something you can do each day, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The numerous analogical and psychological idiosyncrasies associated with the pineal is one of the few solitary organs in the brain, meaning most of the organs in your brain have a duality, left side, right side, you know what I mean, Mm -hmm. two of them. Most organs in the brain are paired left and right. While the small, while small, the blood flow flow to the gland is quite large. The the pineal has been considered to be a homage of the reptilian third eye. It's the photo, it's photosensitivity, meaning sensitivity to light, derives from neutral connections with the retina. Your physical eyes have a connection with your third eye. That's why they call it the third eye. So your your physical eye in in its light sensitivity. So this is why if you look at a physical light bulb, Mm -hmm. before you go on, brother, there's an article that just came out in which that NASA confirmed superhuman abilities Game through mm-hmm. Stargazer, in which that it was Stargazer. talking about Stargazer, right, also known as sun eating, and, you know, mm-hmm. how it's a strict practice, you know, it's, you know, sunlight into your eyes at the low or the lowest ultraviolet index time of the day, which, of course, is on the sun, uh, rise and sunset. It mm-hmm. says that who mm-hmm. teach and practice um, say that there are several rules to the practice. First, it must be done within an hour after sunrise or sunset to avoid damaging mm-hmm. the eye. Second, you must be barefooted. Right. 
um, mm. in contact with the actual earth, sand, dirt, grass, mm. mud, etc. Mm-hmm. Finally, it would be um, you must begin with only ten seconds the first day, and then increase by ten seconds intervals each day you practice, in which that eventually you end up over a nine month period of mm. forty um, minutes. You know, that becomes the max. And so what it was talking about is that by doing it, you gain superhuman abilities. You know, um, mm. let, let me come right. to this article. Let's look at some of the right quick before you get back into it because you're going in. By seven mm-hmm. and, and a half months of gazing, which is about 35 minutes, it says the need and the desire for food is dwindling. According to mm. some days, an expert food is not actually needed to maintain the body, only energy. And the sun eating provides the energy, and by nine months, all taste for food, including, including aroma or hunger pains and craving, disappears. Those who mm. make it this far say that they report a noticeable change in the way their brain feels like it's charged up. Mm. Right? So, that's that's right. That. so what right. is it in which that is being charged up? Oh, well, let's go on. The pineal gland, mm. the pituitary gland. Hypothalamus gland and the thalamus gland. Right. And the, so, in the temporal lobe. So, all of these particular glands in the brain, based on the pineal gland, first receiving the transmission, because as you said, those two eyes are connected directly to what? The third eye. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. That. Mm-hmm. So, I just don't, I, I just want to um, end it right there. Yeah, um, that's interesting. Good article. Because that, that's yeah. a correlation between the manna from heaven, you know what I'm saying? To be right. to sustain exactly. yourself with the manna from heaven, and um, you know, or at least one uh, interpretation. I know you that that could be interpreted in other ways as well. But hell yeah, and that that's interesting. I mean, remember what Aleem just said because as we go on, we're going to see as we talk about the pioneer how how these elixirs come online and what he's talking. And a part of the elixirs is through the sun, and you'll see when we get there how that's absolutely on point, and it makes so much sense. In fact, so much so is why it's naturally the biggest things in the world people talk about is I love sunsets or I love sunrises. You get what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Because that means that something in you is naturally pulling you there. Now, I do know this, that um, there's light. Phil talked about it, and he said these words, light code information. He used right. the word light code information, that you are actually receiving light code information on light. Now, when you watch the movie K-Pax, he tells you we travel on light. Our messages That's are right. on light. On the on light. Young being. That's right. That's light. right. So, so right. sun gazing is not just that light. There's information on that light. Half, yeah. the, half of these stars are sending out ancient cosmic information. See, the brother Will, the astrologer, he would tell, he said, which is obvious later on in life, but he's the first one to say it to me. He's like, well, the star, we could be looking at a star, and the star's light can only reach Earth, your vision, at a certain, you know, by the speed of light. It only travels through the speed of light. So that star could be so far away that it may have blown up supernova thousands of years ago, but you're just still receiving the light now. Exactly. He said all of these stars could be gone. You're just receiving the light where it looks like a canopy of stars now. So all of this shit is old information. Therefore, it leads us into how time is not really real. You get what I'm saying? So this is ancient information by stargazing or the sun, which is just another star, one that's here. So there's information that I do know based upon – now, this is based upon channel. I do know that – that we do get information through the sun. When, when when Michael Jackson passed, as you already know, I was already able to make contact with Michael Jackson. He explained a lot about the communication on something called the unconscious collective. The unconscious collective is a, 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 a term phrased by Carl Jung. And he's basically, he used to say humanity has a unconscious evolution. You get what I'm saying? That no matter where you are, a certain amount of evolution is happening unconsciously, and quant is a quantum communication that's happening. Now, this is absolutely true. We could tell this by just trends, dances, and slang of black people. It seems like even though it's a little bit different in L.A., 
from the East Coast or from the South is pretty much the same kind of thing. So, for instance, no matter where I was, if I walked in the room with a hammer suit, I'm outdated. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> West Coast, East Coast. So if I walk in with hammer pants and say, y'all niggas ready? Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, go, Patty, go, Patty, go. <laughs> Stop. Have a time. And y'all be like, this nigga, or one DMC suit. You know, I walk in the room, it's tricky to rock around the world. It's tricky. <laughs> you know Wait a minute, you know what I'm saying? This is right, right. You, you right, right. Or LL, rock the bells. There's something about this nigga that ain't blending right. So we kind of uh, updated on whatever it is, even though the, the names and faces and the energy has changed, there's still a, a certain amount of shit that's hot and that's not and stays hot. And it's usually communicated without communication. How is this happening? Because it happens from the unconscious collective, the quantum connection that we have unconsciously as black folks. In fact, if you get into detail, that's what I speak about since I started talking. I speak towards the unconscious collective. We as black folks, we need to do this. That's what Aline speaks about, Bobby speaks about, Mm -hmm. Phil speaks about. He speaks as us as black folks. Well, when you see that, that means that's happening for all of us. Well, because this happening and this is in retrograde, it's for all of us, as opposed to that's happening to you, Jim, and that's happening to you, Bob. That's just your personal life thing. You know, that's readings. You get what I'm saying? The unconscious collective, you have to be tapped into Akasha. Yo, we need to start fucking with Sri Ramakrishna. That energy is popping right now. I'm saying that because, no, I'm, my whole work is getting into that unconscious collective, see what energy is speaking back that we all can benefit from right now. So Ganesha exists, but it may be a time to say, yo, fuck with Ganesha right now. You get what I'm saying? Because that shit is working. And people do it in his work because the energy is high. You get what I'm saying? So when, ba- when Bobby went on the Baron Somdi craze, that was something that was coming out from the unconscious collective that he mm-hmm. was reflecting that benefits us as a whole. So we need to understand there's a difference with the unconscious collective and then your personal, I need a girlfriend, and I need a boyfriend plight. So the pineal is considered, again, a homage to the reptilian third eye. So you'll see the snake figure in any shamanistic society, any society with a mythology, you'll see a snake on this because it represents the primal life force, and this energy represents primary life force. So these names and all the rest of these come from that. Zachariah Stitchin is one white man who said reptilian people. And, and Bobby dropped that. He was paid by Jews to write those books. Hmm. And spin it wow. in, in any way. So all that, the reptilian and, and the Anunnaki people has nothing to do with an evil race. Think about an evil race from space that came down here to be the president. Right. To dig well, for gold. The, the, word Anu, the word Anunnaki, the word Anu means on high in on ancient high, Semitic right. language. Right. And the word Naki mm-hmm. means serpent. So right, the serpent, serpent right. on high, high, high serpent. When it comes up, that's right. When it comes up, right the chakra system from the base of the spine to the top of the head and goes over to the third eye area, which is in the forehead uh, right above the um, eyebrows, and which that, that is shown on all of the tiaras or crowns in ancient Kemet. Right. You know, so, um, right. back so, from the pineal right, plant. Right, that's right. Right. So, right. So, right. 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 It's a standing understanding. And I said, you can go right to Robert Temple's book, where he breaks down the Anunnaki and the symbology of it, because it's, a, it's from Sumeria. And there was these 50 crowned gods with no information, but known collectively as the Anunnaki, which he connected it to the 50 rotations of Sirius B, 50 years, which they later made three. You know what I mean? So the symbology, the symbology is there. You get what I'm saying? So there's no, I mean, because think of the alternative. An evil race came down here, and then Prince Charles and them. Them goofy, you ever look at them goofy <laughs> misfits and think that they're an evil reptilian race that came down here to dig for gold? Like, if you know how to interplanetary travel, wouldn't you know how to make gold? Like, it's like, exactly. like I can see if there was a bunch of niggas, then I'd say, y'all might have a chance. 
They may have came down here for gold teeth. You know what I'm saying? Some, some bling. Right. They may have a chance at, at this. But a bunch of white people, interplanetary travelers for gold. Well, that's the thing that I say. Right. And, and, and ultimately, especially when you know, right, especially when you know all the uh, the, the, the symbolic, sim- symbolism in those words and how those, exactly. that same symbolism comes up in mythology, it's like, you, you would debunk it from that. You don't even have to have a debate thing. Just if you knew mythology, you would see all that symbolism already existed, you know what I'm saying, before they took on this characteristic that we have now given. See, we, we don't realize we're giving away our power. So because the, calling them the devil has played out, you know what I'm saying? Now we're just now we're just quite simply well they're just evil this evil Anunnaki race and, and you know it, it just doesn't even make no sense. You know, no. you know and they're trying to it give doesn't. themselves a, a a a history, but or or a or, or more metaphysical history, and we participate in that bullshit <laughs> by calling exactly. fucking Anunnaki. We the ones that are raising them up with that bullshit. You need to take, you know, take your divine shit. There's these niggas still looking at the dollar bill going, the eye of Horace is evil. Still. Yep. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I, I had and the pyramid. Right. It is. It's exactly. the pyramid. Yeah. You know, I'm and not even going to explain that. That's it. Right. If y'all want to you know, you know, rally up for a cause, tell them to take our symbols off their fucking dirty money. <laughs> That's a cause exactly. to rally up for. So we say this before we go to the question and answers. One of the easiest things you need to do, first we need to understand the order of how the DMT is created. It is created first starting with you need to get tryptophan in your body. Go to the store and buy tryptophan, T-R-Y-P-O, I'm sorry, T-R-Y-P-T-O-P-H-A-N, tryptophan. It's amino acid. What this helps to stimulate is serotonin. Serotonin is what tryptophan becomes. Serotonin is created during the daytime. It's the elixir that keeps you aware. So the sun gazing that Lean was talking about starts the serotonin process of light. Now, at night, the serotonin, based upon your two things will happen. And this happens to most people with calcified pineal glands. This happens with people who are not spiritual. Because the body says you're not, you don't need the serotonin or abundance of the serotonin because you haven't programmed yourself to be, do something spiritual, or think of anything spiritual. Exactly. Then it turns into something, or uh, there's another elixir that comes online called MNO enhances, MNO enhances, MAO enhances. And what this does is an enzyme that shuts down the serotonin. It doesn't allow it to become melatonin. So by doing the humming, um, the, um, we're going to get into more dark meditations the, the, in the next class. By doing the meditations, the herb pack, any of the things you've been doing with this mentality in mind, you start to block the MEO enhances. So the serotonin stays more in the mind. And at night, it becomes melatonin. So this is where crystal work, candles work. One of the easiest things you can do at night. Go get you those eye patches, that, those sleeping meds that you see white people sleeping with. Mm-hmm. Why do you think for years you've seen rich white people sleeping with eye patches on for total darkness? Because they're trying to stimulate melanin or melatonin. We need to do that again. So that's the easiest thing you can do. If you're cool like me, you can get one with all the magnets and shit all around it. One of the things you will be able to do is buy stuff by flat, tumbled crystals for whatever purpose they are. Stick those in the mass and your dreams in the melanin will be programmed with that crystal energy. So try to get an energy that you can stick in that mass. That's a, one of the most perfect trick to to once you start any of these practices to turn the tryptophan to serotonin to the melatonin. That's where the key is. Now, if for now, what happens to the melatonin as we point out for most black people? Because since black people are more the original people and more melatonin activity, that melatonin gets absorbed into the nervous system. It becomes an elixir called pinealine or harmaline or harmine. We don't want that. That's another MAO enhancer. So that means that's a player hater 
before the next step of melatonin, which starts the DMT process. So by doing the dark mask at night, and you can go as far as um, any of the stuff that Dr. Blair sells, the diodos, uh, any of the stuff that Aleem sells, the magnets for the bed, any of those enhancers for sleeping and removing e- the EM, EM uh, the e- what is it, EMS field, electromagnetic field. Uh, uh, right. If it's feasible yeah. in your room, mm-hmm. e- 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 EMS, right? I think I'm saying it right. If it's feasible yeah, in your room, to unplug everything in your in your room. So not just turn off your TV, unplug the main power for your TV, mm-hmm. your right. clock. If you can unplug that in. Because what you're trying to do is get in, that's where that book Darkness Visible comes in, and it will tell you the science of darkness and the, the important process of darkness and the pineal gland and initiation, so on, so far, and such. That's where you can read more on just pure darkness and the science of darkness. But what happens is by doing this, by stimulating this melatonin, it becomes something called 5-MeO-Tript. 5-MeO-Tript, which is a first level form of DNA, uh, I'm sorry, DMT. And usually we hit that by accident. So that's when we have those special nights of lucid dreaming. Now, again, when you purposely do this, you can have these more offered. Then it turns into the uh, the most powerful enzyme, DMT. And you'll have, it's not as powerful as taking the ayahuasca and the peyote and you know, all the rest of that, those are designed for a major DMT experience. We're not talking about a DMT blow your mind experience. We're talking about a, 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 a pathway to a DMT or the spirit molecule in your own melanin where you have access to this world. Now, next week, we're gonna, we'll go into this more, and I'll give you more details, but I at least in this week wanted to give you a pathway to go tryptophan, serotonin, through, through your light daily, melatonin through your night work, so you darken your room, at, at the very least get that mask. I'll give you other tricks. A uh, herb pack helps with this. That's why people have been getting so much dream work on the herb pack because it helps to turn the melanin into a slight form of DMT, the natural process. That, and, and then it turns into the MEO tript to the DMT. That's the path that you're going for. And like I said, we're going to talk more on that when we when we when we get back into the lecture portion next week. But now, Q and A finally. All right. Get down to that. Now you're going to go to tech, so you still got a half an hour. Then we're going to um, bring them on for that last hour. Okay. So so we're going to we're still going to do more lectures to the last right. the last half. Right. Right. That okay. you get through more info. You know what I'm saying? And um. Yeah, because we we haven't you know, even scratched. Exactly, I know, I know, I know. So we got right. a little scratch. Yeah, we, we, I mean, yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 we got a lot out, but it, it's actually a little bit more to come with it. And you know, it's, like I said, we here, so you know, we do as many shows as we need, as long as, as long as the, as long as the station is free and y'all willing, we willing. You know what I mean? So All right. let's get it on. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we can go, and you know, we, you know I do, I know, I, I always. Uh, Promise questions <laughs> and, uh, right. uh, and and hardly get there, but we want to do something about it. All right. So the Taoist practice of orgasmic upward draw is very important to help stimulate the pineal gland. Taoists regard the pineal as a second sexual gland. Now, there's a there's a connection. Remember, I said sex is in the mind. The pineal. But, Tuatari represents a sexual union. The separation happens at the genitals. Um, So why sex is good and feels good and and you feel like you need this soulmate because you're physically acting out the sexual union that's supposed to happen in the mind. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's supposed to happen in the mind. Now, um, but you need to understand the energy streams between your 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 sexual organs in the pineal are the same. So so you know they tell you the sperm is brain fluid travels up and down the spine. Blah 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 blah. Because what they're trying to tell you there is a spiritual connection to the, to get the, because it's, it's the physical way you create and the spiritual way you create has the same connection. 
So all that upward draw in, in the breath, and you can find all this stuff from Kundalini. Uh, uh, Ali, he teaches, uh, he teaches uh, tantric classes, and he has, uh, 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 he's been teaching um, certain breathing exercises, practices, so yeah. on and so forth. Mm-hmm. This is nothing new, you know what I'm saying? And um, in long story short, um, you can find out more in-depth techniques on how to bring up that sexual energy to the head, and um, which is an easy way to visualize. Because when you say any, see, in my classes, a lot of the practices or the techniques I teach, I tell people to replace it with something sexual, because that's going to keep your fucking attention. You know what I'm saying? So, for instance, uh, in the book Cyclomancy, which I sell, I te- uh, he teaches one of the first things he teaches you you is you need to find a connection word with something that makes you feel good. And and in uh, or, or or something that how would you say uh uh systematically no matter where you say it it will bring you to the place place of, of Zen. So his idea was steak for him. So now what happens is he breaks down alchemically um uh, alkaline starts to flood your system when you hear things that you enjoy, and the alkaline or al- alkaline system is a more psychic system. So to start the psychic process, you need to put yourself visualize your place in a place of enjoyment. So I said, you know, you replace all that shit with something sexual, and then guys, you you will never leave this practice alone. You get what I'm saying? And then eventually you'll move on because your um, your mind calisthenics. You're, you've done enough to where you can focus on more complex things as opposed to just some titties. You get what I'm saying? You know, I tell right. the women, if, if I said, you know, if most women, not necessarily hang-ups, but remember, you're in your own mind, so you can have a sexual encounter with whatever in your own mind without having the, the consequences of, you know, she's a hoe. And if that doesn't float your boat, just visualize you having a conversation with Denzel and he's interested in what you got to say. He goes, oh, yeah, you are the smartest person on your job. King Kong ain't got shit on you. Just imagine him saying that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something, whatever it is, that has got you interested. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. I'm here to do it. You see what I'm here to do? You know what I mean? Or Idris Alba. What, so in other words, you need to visualize and put yourself in a position of what's joyous to you to start the alchemical process. You get what I'm saying? Now, usually, like I said, sexual always works because your sexual power, which is what represents your fallen power. You get what I'm saying? See, when you're born, you know, you see the baby's nuts, and she's just full with melanin, black-ass nuts. You know what I'm saying? Black-ass vagina lips because it, it represents the fall. You get what I'm saying? The fall of your mind went to your genitals and got separated into a vagina and a penis. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No matter how stupid your kids are, you can guarantee they fucking somebody. You know what I'm saying? No matter, like, no matter how stupid they are. Like, y'all niggas don't know shit. Your report card's fucked up. But I guarantee you they're going to stick their dick somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because this, 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 you know, so, so it represents the fall. So all that upward draw and that, these type of things are trying to bring the energy or the focus back to the mind, the true power of sexual union, the, the complete part, or the true soulmate concept. Walking around with a boyfriend and girlfriend represents the physical representation of what you need. But the true androgynous is, is, is both the union within yourself. You get what I'm saying? So the tench, the Taoist practice of the orgasmic upward draw is very important to help stimulate the pineal gland. Taoists regard the pineal gland as the second uh, sexual gland, which is actually the first. The Can and the Li practice the streaming process helps cleans out all the organs and reactivates the thymus and the pineal glands. The can and the lee represents the fire and the water practice, and I'm sure Aline could tell you about that. It's, it's a it's a Qigong practice, and one, well, at least, I don't know if it's the, the most famous, but one Montauk Chia, um, when you, if, if you were to look it up, his name comes up a lot with that. All right, so now, nothing could have a more there's a name they're calling this divine grace. This divine grace called Wu Chi. So when I refer to Wu Chi, they're talking about this divine grace, this higher self, or 
however you want to slice it, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or whichever way you want to call it. So nothing more is natural than the state of Wu Chi, um, nothingness or divine grace. And yet the realization of Wu Chi is clouded by uh, obstructions and confusions. Consciousness streams into everybody. But only a few can see the light. Exactly. So that's really important statement. So when you have um, a whole bunch of patas and my yachts and panic, I just know I know because I know and all the rest of that. Yeah, you do know because consciousness does stream into everybody, but not everyone is seeing the light. You see the light with the third eye. Without pineal light, yeah. they're taking one down. You get what I'm saying? So you so seeing the light and knowing it exists is two different things. What I'm interfacing with or finding out is a bunch of people that know light exists but not seeing the light. And that's that's the difference. That's a big difference. And that's what we're trying to be in the game, people who are able to see the light. And and that's only and, and that's what we learn in the night. You get what I'm saying? An essential function of the upper brain, the upper tan chin, is to manifest the esoteric and divine realizations of consciousness into our humanly bodies. So what it's trying to do is say it's trying to take this cosmic realization, this terrestrial realization, and become it in your body, not in your personality. Become it alchemically. Become that become that light, as I pointed out, when I hear the lady say, No, I see these lights around you and around your head. You know what I'm saying? I've seen but but to all the masses, I've seen the lights around a lean when he's especially when they're teaching. When they're in that exactly. teaching zone, yeah. when a lean came and did that lecture for us, you could see all I could see all this light around. I barely couldn't stand. It's so much so people were getting idiotic human people who came to that was getting idiotic. I had a human guy film this. And at the end of the lecture, this is why you don't see this lecture, he says, I was filming parts of it. He couldn't sit there and take the whole thing. That's how fucked up this human guy was. So the next lecture with Wayne, I had to get a sister who was conscious to do it. He couldn't really sit there and look through his lens at a lean because that's the, see, we're talking vibration. You're talking about, especially when you're lecturing, you get into reflecting a spiritual vibration. That's how you know when uh, that's how you know when 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 that truth because remember the human body is a vessel you get what I'm saying so that's when you know they're reflecting true cosmic light we just say that nigga's in his own and I and you know one of the most disappointing things is I wasn't able to do that well we'll perhaps do another one you know what I'm saying it was one of my first well I was able to record that lecture because the information and most of the people were hit in this room were there. It was a masterful I- interpretation because he's reflecting this light. Which is, see, Aline does the practices. You get what I'm saying? He does right. the work that opens up the pineal. So it's there. It's not like this is something that's hard. It's not like something is you can't do. And there's brothers who's willing to share that with you. You get what I'm saying? So, so it's about getting the show on the road as opposed to the theories that we got going on. Because remember, Consciousness streams into every part of the body. So it's there. That's what you're feeling. But only a few can see the light. You know what I'm saying? Chi spirals through the crown and the third eye into the pineal and pituitary glands, sustaining existence and nourishing the spirit. Infants and children bask in the glow of the power of the chi field streaming info and it's interacting with the bodies. The psyche is a vibrant and alive, and the energy bodies communicate with the non with non physical dimensions. Again, as I pointed out earlier, as you grow older, you lose contact with that. That's why that child mind is the divine mind. I.e., in the Bible, you can only enter as a child, and the child would lead them. They're not talking about your stupid ass kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Eating that goddamn, you know, at the goddamn Little Caesar's pizzas. You know what I mean? They're talking about. <laughs> They're talking about the child mentality, a mentality you had of deep visualization, one of the things I teach in my class, as a child that you learn. You know what I'm saying? Remember when you used to take that bath and you couldn't get in the tub without a certain amount of shit? 
You know what I'm saying? I'm taking that car, Luke Skywalker, you know, Robbie the Robot, you know what I'm saying, and my Jesus, and my Jesus action. The ducky, the ducky. Right, right, the ducky. The ducky. I, I got a motherfucking rubber duck now. Khadija just does, does not believe this is happening. She walks in the tub and just shakes her fucking head like, you really in the tub with a fucking rubber duck, nigga? I'm like, nigga, I'm tapping into some shit here. You know and don't fuck with my duck when I ain't around. I got Mr. Bubble. All that shit. Y'all niggas do all that spiritual bath. I use Mr. Bubble. Straight out. Mr. Bubble, Mr. Bubble right. and I will to soak that float. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I part the tub everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fart in the tub, get in the tub with thorn liquid, make make finger bubbles, you know what I'm saying? Tapping the fuck in, you know what I'm saying? And a child shall leave them. And a child shall leave them. People like, don't, don't fuck with my duck, you know what I'm saying? Coming in here casting dispersions on my duck, you know what I'm saying? She walking out the bathroom, he looks like Ernie, motherfucker. He looks like Ernie, motherfucker. Like, see, this, this is like I can't get no cooperation right here. You're just not on this level of the game. Duck makes sounds and everything. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, Mr. Bubble, you name it. I got all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the, that's the escape. Remember using the tub? That shit was like fucking, you know, you had gateways and shit, underwater, floating shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them give you a gift from Captain Crunch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the submarine, you put baking soda in, it should go up and down. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit in a Happy Meal. Scuba diving, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could get a Happy Meal now on that level of the game. You know what I'm saying? The floating grimace. Anything. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and ultimately, you know what I'm saying, you tap into that. So I teach. See, your kids do it naturally. Invisible friends. If you had a sister with a doll, fuck beating up the doll. All you had to do was say her doll was bald. And you had a fucking, you know, the whole night would be fucked up. Oh, he called my doll bald. You know what I'm saying? The whole night would be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell your, don't call your sister's doll bald. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that bald ass doll. Because especially with women, they knew how to take an inanimate object and... And, and animated, animated with spirituality. You get what I'm saying? Because that's the that's the deep power of visualization. When we grow up, shit like that becomes stupid. You get what I'm saying? And but that's but actually you have to get back to that level of invoking your will or your imagination into these in, in animate objects to make them gateways and servants of you to serve you. You get what I'm saying? That's what talismans for. That's what uh, sigils are for. That's what these statues are for. These 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 things are for. Get the door, somebody. Um, that's what these things are for to serve you. So so you could um, so you could so you could actually so you could actually benefit from from the will of your own mind. You get what I'm saying? Kids know how to do. It. When they're scared, they got an invisible friend under the bed. A fucking, you know, I had a fucking doll named Peter, Chancey the Monkey, you know what I'm saying? I had all these monkeys. Some of them nights when the rent, when the fucking gas bill comes, God damn, I was Chancey the Monkey was here. Where the fucking Chauncey at? It was Chauncey the Monkey, you know what I'm saying? Oh, where's Chauncey right now? The gas bill is here, you know what I'm saying? All right, Jay. And, and so I was just like, so Peter and shit, it's like, they had a train outfit on. I should sleep with this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I was good at that shit, see, because one time we went to the carnival, you know what I'm saying? And, like, my sister was like, ooh, let me get this Wonder Woman lasso, you know what I'm saying? So, 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 I, so my sister got the last Wonder Woman lasso that was on the cardboard Wonder Woman card cut, cut out. You know, it was this big Wonder Woman, this white Wonder Woman. So I'm sitting there like, well, well, could I get the Wonder Woman and shit? You know what I'm saying? So I got the Wonder Woman. So I'm like, yo, ma, I just want to get her in the bed. You know what I'm saying? So my mom let me sleep with the cardboard Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm sleeping up with this white woman. You know what I'm saying? My father came home and just went, hey, what's in the bed with a white woman for? Yo, I was really hurt the next day. Like, this nigga just destroyed my Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? I right, got it. You just destroyed my Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? This is my wonderful Wonder Woman. 
all them legs and all that whiteness in the bed with me. All that whiteness was in the bag. She got to block shit with her arm. She's an incredible bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the bed sleeping. Doom, 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 doom. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm laid up. You know what I'm saying? I had to, had to cover her up. My pops came home. What in the fuck are you letting this boy sleep in the bed with white women for? But it's Wonder Woman. Nigga. She's a different kind of a white woman. She's got powers. You can do my shit away. You know what I'm saying? But you can vote in your mind. You know what I'm saying? You invoke in your mind this, to inanimate. I, we have to get back to that shit. That was outplaying. Uh. We so busy wondering, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You ever wonder what? I can hear the theme song now, you know what I'm saying? Khadija, you got any Wonder Woman outfits? We might get to reminisce. Yeah, there's, a, there's something in me. There's something in me that was missing. <laughs> At least get the lasso. At least get the lasso. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> but yeah, like um, there, there, there's something in you, something in us as kids. We know how to make this invisible thing. You get what I'm saying? Like you know, our three. We had three friends when we was little. My boy Danny, still my friend to this day. Knew since we was in diapers. His mother, and my mother was friends. And he had another brother who was in the middle, and they had a sister who was my sister's name. So his, their middle brother was odd man out. We didn't want him with us, so we didn't make him hang with the girls. So this nigga started making invisible friends, you know what I'm saying? Nipolis and the niggas from the cops. And to this day on Facebook, how's Nipolis doing? Oh, he don't, you know what I'm saying? Losing his mind. But this nigga was a, a Nipolis was a good friend to this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? He used to break his chicken wings in half. So let's get this one of your wings, Leon. That's for Nipolis. You know what I'm saying? That was his payback. You know what I'm saying? That's for Nipolis. I'm like, well, Nipolis ain't going to Nipolis. You know what I'm saying? And he tried to give you the, the, the wing tip part. He give Nipolis the meat. You know what I'm saying? The two bone part. They give you the tip. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, look, look here, man. Look. We need to reorder this. He said, no, y'all niggas don't want to let me play spy and shit with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so now, you know what I'm saying, y'all get the tip. And, like, to this day, you fuck with him with Nicholas. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga used to give concerts by itself. You know what I'm saying? We used to call him Maestro. You know what I'm saying? He used to dress up and just play this piano by itself. And he used to talk to people like they was in the audience. You got, we got to get back into that shit. <laughs> All of that, as simple as, as it seems, is stimulation for the pineal. On a sexual level, we call that shit role-playing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I sneak through the window. Khadija going, sir, what do you want here? There's no money here. <laughs> and then there's a whole thing going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sir. You know, she just refers to you as sir. <laughs> or you pick up at a bar and you know, they act like you don't know each other. All of that role playing is you do it for a sexual cause for the imagination. It that comes from a later day of what's supposed to be happening in the pineal. Y'all could visualize this this uh, a reality that's so much better. But see, that's why he got you visualizing his Illuminati reality. You get what I'm saying? So they mm -hmm. Illuminati's been standing in this karate stance, ain't throw no kicks, no roundhouses, no nothing. In this fucking karate stance, just going, oh, what the? <laughs> Didn't do nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they do no moves. But it, but if you love it, if you look at the nigga, because they understand the power of our imagination, we got a whole fucking pantheon of shit. We even play Beyonce songs backwards now. Look, <laughs> she's saying she's Satan, and you know it's that same shit. I am Satan. I am Satan. Like, <laughs> look, come on now. Then you turn it around. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, I am Satan. It's like, look, enough of this shit. You get what I'm saying? Y'all need to cut it out. It's your own imagination. Why is it real? Why could you back it up? Because that's the power of your imagination. You can make anything real. That's all Bobby Hammond was trying to teach you motherfuckers exactly. for years. Yeah. I made orange soda the new goddamn ginseng, nigga. I took a peach soda and healed myself like that shit was, you know what I'm saying, fucking uh, ginkgo biloba or some kind of shit. 
And you're like, oh, Bobby, you're so funny. I don't get it. No, you don't get it. What he's trying to teach you is your mind is all powerful. So all they have to do is stimulate something with your divine black mind, you're going to find a thousand things that make it real. They put out a room where Led Zeppelin versus the devil, you'll find a thousand songs that they're talking about the devil now because that's how the mind works. So once you understand you need to take back your divine mind, create the fucking story that you need to create for your purpose, then you fucking working with something. You know what I'm saying? Get in the bed with Wonder Woman, god damn it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what your father say. What your father say. So where we at? So at 10, we're going to do the questions. So chi spirals to the crown, to the third eye. We, I think we got there. The chi is always coming through. So the energy field is always there. It's just a matter of you opening the portal, pineal gland, for you to do it. Herb pack, herb pack, herb pack. That's one of the shortcuts, along with the dark meditations, crystal work. Get with Aleem. Aleem, for years, has been giving out classes, things you can do. Aleem came, when Aleem did the lecture, came to my house, he showed me a move of grabbing chi that was so fucking tight, you know what I'm saying, that you, you guys are dealing with someone who's active in it. Aleem is just not a lecturer. He's active in showing you what to do. So, exactly. what, what, what's your website again? Okay. So y'all need w- to go w- there w- and see what's going on. Go go there and see what's yeah, going on. Like I said, we're building up this station, so you're going to start seeing logos and, and, and all sorts of shit that will lead you there if you're if you're confused about where to go after this. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, you can always reach out to Aleem. He's very, 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 very reachable on Facebook. He, he answers it all, so... These are not people playing high and mighty. He's always been with us, always been with you. And, you know, I can't think, you know, like I said, my first lecture that I decided to do was with Brother Aline for a reason, you know what I'm saying, based upon information, sincerity, and shit that works. So we're interested now. Everybody listen to this, everybody who's going to listen to this, and everybody who you recommend should be listening to this, understand they should only be fucking with us if they're interested in results. I'm about right. results now. We ain't going to bullshit no more. I'm tired of complaining about what the fuck you don't know, but I'm going to feel good about leaving this motherfucker giving you everything I feel that you can know that you can access for yourself. So let's yeah. get it on. Fear is the oldest negative emotion. It's felt by all animals and even That's stronger right. among humans since they have so little power in protecting themselves, especially the newborn. The longer history... The longer history Required for organic development makes fear the basis for the entire civilization's process. Now, that alone, that alone is powerful. Because everything you can see, even in this country, the Second Amendment, Internet security, ADT, uh, Tylenol covers, is all about fear. Exactly. All of those things are about the FBA. Every single thing or situation, FBI, you could name, CIA, in this motherfucking country, in this society, are not love-based, fear-based entity. Exactly. Yeah. Everything is fear-based entity. You are in the very bosom of fear. So while you're walking around with this melanin and kundalini, you need to come to face the facts of where you are in the energy circle around you. And you need to understand how to operate within this circle. You are promoting this shit each time you go, thank you, Craven. I'm sad for the brother's passing. But, but we need to give the energy to make his passing a transitional smooth thing. We talk about it for what it is, but there are plenty of black people who aren't conscious who will give what Trayvon needs. You get what I'm saying? We need right. to do our spiritual thing. Put on your hood, your Skittles, drink a Snapple for his spirit. Because that's who we are. You get what I'm saying? Let Al Sharpton and them niggas pound the pavement to beat some white folks up. You get right. what I'm saying? That's what they are here for to do. You should not cross the stream. So, because why must we take this stand? Because we understand that this death, not only as sad as it is, it can now be turned into a weapon to shut down access to a higher realm by these attachments to this physical by exploiting your natural attachment, and I can't even say natural, exploiting the attachment that built up through, you, through fear of being here. 
through fear of burning your hand, fear of not even getting hurt, but your mother telling you how many things you can do that might hurt your ass. Oh, don't sit like that. You'll get a yeast infection. You get what I'm saying? Never got one, but you're like, oh, no, I better not ride no lawnmower. I'll get a yeast <laughs> infection. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. So that just fear, the idea of fear, you're born and steeped in fear. So fear is the weapon. This whole entire reality here is based upon fear, just based upon the way they acquired this country. Mm-hmm. So you need to know where you're at, and you need to know the weapon that they're using. When you're, you're re-sending all this Illuminati jazz and Beyonce's jazz, like, I hope Beyonce is fucking with Baphomet. My, y'all niggas need to learn a lesson, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> if she is. If she is, you know what I'm saying? So fear is closely connected to the kidney chi via the adrenal glands, and when the, when this kidney chi is diminished, the brain slowly begins to pull back and uh, disengage from the fanatic worlds of the divine. So just the mere fact that you're in a constant state of fear, it takes you out of your divinity, period. So can you not see their agenda? Brother Wayne taught me, and in, in, when I asked him, what does fear do? It was, is, fear is a measurable vibration. If I remember correctly, I think it operates at 200 megahertz. Don't quote me on that. And as opposed to love, which is 500 megahertz. Now, unconditional love, that is. So, so when fear happens, as I just pointed out, adrenaline is flowing in the kidneys. And then the, adre- the adrenaline puts you in fight or flight mode, which cuts you off from all spirituality. So it's in there it to, to, just to keep you unspiritual. Fuck anything I've just said. To keep you unspiritual, all they have to do is keep you in a constant state of fear. The true terrorism is making you pay rent, my niggas. Yeah. See, see, let me tell you. They charge you for water. If I said... If I said to you, they're charging you for air, you would be like, oh, my goodness, that's ridiculous. You know, who charges for, how could they charge you for air? But they're charging you for water, which is just as ridiculous. It's just something exactly, you yes, it is. It's something you just come to accept. And, oh, yeah. and just, see, but just to even stay on topic, the fear, the levels of fear that, that's being injected into you has your body chemistry off. You have to get past the fear, which means you cannot promote all day how you're scared of Beyonce and Jay-Z for throwing up the fucking rock sign. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That you think that the neck of of Clinton was breathing by itself because he's a reptilian. And even if he was and all that shit is true, so fucking what? What are they going to do that they they ain't done to you already? Give you more fucking heroes and fucking hot wings (laughs) and shit you're doing already? You know what I'm saying? So so it's not going to serve you no matter what. You know, there's a guy, they're doing this and they're doing that and they're doing that. You know something, they're right. They are doing that. Now, what are you going to do? I guess mm-hmm. we just know about it. I say, all right, when you come up with a solution, <laughs> then you can fucking bother me with that. You get what I'm saying? Other than that, just take me off. You know, now now you can walk away mad, say I was a bad guy, and take me off mm-hmm. your friend's list if you, if you feel better. So you, you need to understand the agenda of fear takes you out of this spiritual practice. Exactly. Now, we'll stop there because we're going to go to the calls. It's 10 o'clock. And you are right. listening to First World Order Radio. This is where it's at now. Nope. We got logos and jingles and all sorts of shit coming. <laughs> we're going to make this shit official. <laughs> watch. <laughs> Just watch, niggas. Wednesday is the new, Wednesday is the, Wednesday is the new Sunday. It's Sunday. And Wednesday is new church day. So let's get it on, y'all. All right, we're going to go to the phone lines. Let's see here who we got. We got area code 215, area code 215. You're on the line. Caller, you on? They should have chat. Make sure you press the point. Make sure you press number one if you're trying to come on. If you're trying to come on, press right. number one. Let's get it on. You could have hanged up. 
here for some reason my switchboard is acting up. This is something in which that happens. Your blog talk don't know how to act when it when it comes to science, night. <laughs> <laughs> give, them, they, they give it the program. They, they the blog talk is gonna miss out. You're gonna you're missing out blog talk. All right, we're going to keep talking until we can get this worked out. Right? Okay, okay. Yeah, so we keep going. And like I said, we're, going, we're coming back with part two. So, you know, there's always time for questions. We're going to be here. So, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to deal with many su- subjects. If y'all want to deal with subjects, email either me or Aleem, and we'll, we'll hash it out. We'll see, what's, right. we'll see what we've got. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll go there. So inhibiting the divine, because we, we was there. We was at inhibiting the divine through fear and all this kind of stuff. See, see. Uh, let me see. Fear is closely connected to the chi uh, kidney, which we talked about, and we talked about how the brain pulls back from the worlds of the divine once you're in this state of fear. Now, the upper brain becomes the observing brain. It's dedicated to the worldly task of sending, receiving, and processing sensory signals related to daily living. You get what I'm saying? So, it, so basically, when you come in this fear... Your your whole focus shifts on daily living, and sometimes it doesn't go into overtime. I see we're losing people, so we're going to say we're going to do it next week. Are we doing it next week, Aline? Um. Well, we're going to go back to some question and answers um in a minute, but yeah, go ahead and uh, continue on. Are we going to? Um, yeah, those continue, ones, but are, are we going to do part two? Are we going to do part two next week? Oh, yeah, week definitely, after? definitely. I think think calls are dropping because we're after the two hours, so I want everybody there to know we'll be back next week. We'll be back next week with more of this. We're going to stay as long as we possibly can, but we get kicked off, you understand, because we rocked the two hours already in the hour three. So we'll be back next week with First Order Radio doing what we do, but we're going to keep going until we get kicked out the room. All right, so the upper brain becomes the observing brain dedicated to the worldly task of sending, receiving, and processing sensory signal related to daily living. So when you become, when you get into the state of fear or in the state of control through fear, what happens is the spiritual connection has come off and your center of focus becomes earthly. Right now, us, we are, we are more daring and I want to thank everyone for showing up tonight, and, and it was a nice big room. We're going to keep this going, make it juicier and juicier. So I want to thank everybody before we get cut off. So as we, so um, so as our fo- see, we're more daring, dashing, and debonair people because there's a certain amount of fear that doesn't fuck with us. This fear is called Jesus Christ and going to hell. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't fuck with us. Therefore, we're able to expand more. So I'm asking and, and we're calling for it to take that extra step now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a step. And right. someone's asking when's the next show? The next show will be the next week, next Wednesday, the same time. Wednesday's the new Sunday. You, you, and, and next time, one cool for fella or one cool fella, you need to bring one of your friends with you. Show, show them what's happening here is so magical that they cannot live without us. Exactly. So come so so make sure you're here next week, same bat time, same bat channel. And in fact, if I'm not here, Aline is still doing shows. Very informative, so you need to be here. And there's more people coming up. So, you know, this is where you need to be. And again, email me, panicpack at hotmail dot com for information on classes, the herb packs that I've been talking about tonight. Very important to get one now. especially after you get this information. Email Brother Aline. Uh, uh, see Aleem on Facebook. He has his website. You know what I'm saying? Get at him because we're, we're planning on very much big things. Lectures, the whole party. So this is y'all people want to get in at the ground floor on what we got doing going in terms of science. So now is the time. This is about to be big. We're putting a lot of energy into what we got going on. So let's get it on, fellas and fellow X. All right. All right so now... It inhibits the divine, um, inhibits the divine. The, the transition from internally focused awareness of the divine, the natural state of emphasis. Remember, they say this is a natural state of you, the internal focus. You're focused on everything that's from within. 
until your parents give you something to focus on on the outside, like that belt for not getting in bed and all that kind of shit. To externally focus awareness of the adult world requires significant shifts in the chemistry in the brain. So when this happens, it's not just your thinking. The actual chemistry or the elixirs that are excreted in the brain changes. So the average Christian has different elixirs that are online than the average conscious person. So, therefore, to take it to the next step, you still have more elixir work to do. That's what we talked about with the tryptophan, serotonin, melatonin, 5-MEO trip, and DMT. That's what what we're coming to on that. So, So the chemistry in the herb pack helps change that crystal work, candle work, alters, uh, the meditations, the tantric work, the breathing work, all the uh, uh, the, the qigong work, all of these things, and you you don't need to do them all. Some some things may resonate with you more than the act, the other, but these things help to alter the mind to therefore start. Uh, to, to, they help alter the mind to therefore start the process of of changing chemically back into what you need, which is the path of tryptophan, serotonin, melatonin, 5-MeO trip in DMT without any of the other MAO uh, or the other M- inhi- uh, enzyme that inhibit the process from going to the next level, ultimately to the DMT. So the tissues and molecules which normally manifest consciousness of Wu Qi, which is divine grace, must be turned off or inhibited. Chemically, the inhibitors are enzymes such as MAO. They're called monoamine oxidized. That's what MAO means, which rapidly convert serotonin into inactive byproducts. So again, you don't want the MAO because it turns it into in, it turns the serotonin inactive, thus enabling the synthesis to the spirit molecule. The enzyme MAO breaks down the serotonin before it can be converted to melatonin. MEO DMT and DMT and DMT. Our usual perception of the world in waking consciousness, waking consciousness is your everyday mentality, is in fact a state of waking ignorance. Your waking consciousness is the state of waking ignorance. Ain't no two ways about it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no two ways about it. You, as a human, is looked upon in the grand scheme of things as the motherfucking worst thing going, period. Mm -hmm. Ain't no little in between. Ain't no, well, maybe, (laughs) but if I do that, the humanity itself is your worst interpretation of yourself. If you think that is the ceiling on what it is you are, as the divine vessel, it becomes a tool. If you think you're a hammer, then you're an asshole hammer. You know what I'm saying? But if you use a hammer to bang in a nail, then you become the fucking craftsman. You get what I'm saying? So you niggas need to understand that your craftsman and your tool, your tool is nothing but your body, and you need to understand how these tools go down. You get what I'm saying? How to activate these tools instead of thinking you're just so beautiful because you're the black woman and your dreads and the black man and holding up your your baby and going, these are the future. Yeah, that's all nice and everything (laughs) for a social system. But that has nothing. Right. You ain't getting in the heaven, player. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? Helping old ladies down the stairs is not alchemy. It's very nice. And I would hope somebody's going to help my old ass down the stairs if, if I'm still around. You know what I'm saying? I hope you conscious niggas come on and change panics, diaper, and all of that. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Hold them. Change me. <laughs> you should have died a long time ago, nigga. You know, fucked up your kundalini. <laughs> you know, fucked up your cosmic connected niggas is waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? You sit around talking about, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to boo boo. <laughs> I'm ready to hold tap. I'm ready to change. <laughs> we love you, Panic. We're going to change you. Oh, I'm going again. Uh-oh, I win again. <laughs> Nobody wants that shit. <laughs> Nobody wants that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants that. The beard is too cute to be changed in diapers. You know what I'm saying? She'll do it, though. Khadija will do it. You know what I'm saying? She loves me. 
But, you know, who wants to put somebody through that? You know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm too cute to change diapers. You know what I'm saying? You know, okay. panic. I made a stinky. Oh shit! <laughs> He's like, how the fuck you get on that job? <laughs> Humanity is the worst shit going. You, we need to understand that. I'm saying, just the mere fact that that shit can happen. Just the mere fact that that shit can happen is enough not to be want to be here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> it's like, you know what I'm saying? You just met. And then you argued on some other shit. I don't want to do that. Then you shit on yourself. Why well, don't you sit in your shit for a while? <laughs> Khadija, I apologize for my outburst. The other day. I'm ready. I'll be right with you, nigga. You sit in there. You sit in your... Sitting in your own diarrhea, <laughs> drinking your own urine. It's just like let let let's be done with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> the subject of this shit is like, oh for real. You know what I'm saying? So so we need to understand. Even in the best case scenario, humanity is frowned upon. That looked upon as evil as the devil. See, we have a religious idea of it, but but we're just not getting the full dose of what it is we are. It's that kind of thing. And especially when you have access to something that's greater. You get what I'm saying? You have access to a greater portion of you. So there's no reason to walk around like a chump when you have access. You know, you, there's no reason to walk around. You know, you got to be like Semi from, from coming to America. I'm in dire need of a manicure. Pick a bitch and let's go back home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then you, I'm supposed to be a poor man. <laughs> there is a big rat in my house. You cannot go in. He's like, nigga, let's get a bitch. I need a bath. You know what I'm let's go the fuck home. Semi represented semi consciousness. That was a motherfucking metaphysical movie, if nothing else was. There is a big rat. You know what I'm saying? I am a goat. I am a simple goat herder. You know what I'm saying? His, his a big rat. You know what I mean? like, Tell me, like, look, pick a bitch and let's go. All she needs is big cassava melons, nigga. You said you were the son of a king. Why are you tying your shoe, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Enough of you with this bullshit. Don't wipe us. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to get back to that. Wipe us. <laughs> the royal penis is clean, panic. Thank you. Thank you. And can I spend the night? No, no, there's a big rat. There's a big rat. You have to get on the bus. There's a big rat. No, if any big rat, you have to get on the bus. Oh, there's a big rat. You have to get on the bus. Oh, there's a big yeah, there's, oh, there's a, Patty, can I come to New York and visit you? No, there's a very big rat. Very big rat. You're going to have to stay. You're going to have to stay. And then I fell in love. I have a date with Khadija. Khadija. My queen. Uh, queen. queen. To be. I say that shit to Khadija when we at Walmart like a motherfucker. The queen. She don't even pay attention to me no more. I sing so many sonnets to her. You know what I'm saying? You know, we'd be in Walmart. I'd be, oh, just be getting down. I don't be cruel. I would never. I'd be doing the dance and the rap. Hey, Vigo, the Mountain of Ease. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. She don't even say nothing no more. Now she don't even encourage it no more. Like before, it was like, you need to stop now. If she, if she don't say nothing, it'll go away. You know what I'm saying? You should have just go away. You know what I'm saying? Don't be cruel. I would never be that. Hey, should we get some more peanut butter? Oh, don't be cruel. Like, look, I'm tired of this shit, nigga. They're making up songs with a name. Oh, Khadija. Oh, Khadija. We, we, we. She don't even say shit no more. It's like pathetic. She don't even encourage that shit no more. That's what happens when you're in love. I just lost my... I wasn't doing that with nobody before. They'll tell you they all... Everybody mad at Khadija. He's writing a hate mail because I wasn't falling in love. Khadija's the one because I got to know what I wanted. I got tired of this exactly. and all the rest of that. And then the soulmate emerges based upon you communicating... 
come in reality with yourself. I'm like, this ain't hot. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hot for you, three chicks in the bed, but that's corny after a while. After you do it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you you have all of that type of fun. It's like, okay, now what? Oh, I get it. Now you're only indulging your ego. You get what I'm saying? Because what is it? Really, this whole thing comes down to love. And one of the baddest tapes on the planet is Bobby Hemmings' love tape. And in it, what was just profound when he said, it's your love. It's not the other person's love. We tend to think of that, that the other person has your heart, and it's up to that other person to make it right for you within the relationship. But it's really about how much you are freeing yourself through that other person. How much is your heart, is your kundalini, is your chakra system. So it's really up to you to be ready to free yourself. And in, in most you'll find most people are not in relationships because they're not ready to give up their space. Exactly. They're not ready to change it. So it's really mm-hmm. so when you say I'm looking for my soulmate, that mean, no, you're you're not finding just a regular mate because you haven't let go of the layers that be, make you vulnerable to the next person, so they could see your. And most women are there. Most women have let go, and they're more vulnerable than your black ass. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're more holding on to it. You get what I'm saying? So it becomes how many chicks you can get, while for them, they just looking for a nigga that's just can help out with the electric bill now then and again. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Tell their kids, you know, you know, tell their kids how to wear how to put a crease in their pants. That kind of <laughs> shit. So so that's rare because it's not really that there's no good black man. That's a myth. It's just that there's a lot of people you know, because white people have this let and go. White people have functional, dysfunctional relationships. We just we just wear our dysfunction on our sleeves for the most part. But then at the same time, there'll be a, a zillion motherfuckers doing it that we never hear about in this real functional relations with us more than more than not. But when you hear these people, I can't find them. It's not that you can't find nobody. You're blocking you're blocking your own self. Right. With your own with your own ego, you're blocking your own self. Believe you me, especially in, you know you go anywhere. The black woman's natural compassion for your ass, they will love your ass before they hate your ass in any situation. You, no man should have no problem finding a woman if he's true and he's being as real as he possibly can. There's always a a motherfucker out there for you. you know what I'm saying, but the key is, it's really you. White people will tell you on Oprah level. You're not finding a mate until you take care of yourself. You can't. No one's gonna love you until you love that's yourself. That's true. Mm-hmm. So that's that's on the white self help level. You get what I'm saying? Which all comes from metaphysical principles, which is quite exactly. simply yes, know yourself. How do you find a soulmate if you don't know yourself? How do you find a soulmate? And I, I've asked people my husband, well, "What's your soul?" Um, um. Then how do you know what a soulmate is? Exactly. You say you, you know what I'm saying, and, and, that, and that's a real thing right there. I'm I'm saying, uh, somebody explain me something different. You know what I'm saying? So we perceive primary. Um, so so uh, humanity is this walking state of ig- ignorance. The brain must inhibit our true nature and divine connections to survive in the physical world. So just to become a survivor in the physical world, you must give up your spirituality. That's why half you niggas who are halfway spiritual in this consciousness can't get along with nobody. But mm-hmm. then you're, you're you're always saying, but you're always trying to balance out your humanity with spirituality, and it never works out because the two things don't exist in the same place. You need to give your human tides to humanity. Don't be spiritual at Walmart. Be spiritual in your spiritual circle, and it's really for you. It's not something that you reflect on Facebook. It's some I'm spiritual not because I say more spiritual things because of my realizations. Because I did the work that makes you spiritual. And I'll do you one better. I'm genu- genuine, genuinely generous enough to share it right now and have been. And each person that's my peers or even I look up to in this are doing the same thing, sharing the how-to. At least been sharing the how-to for a long time. So it's there in the how-to. No one's hiding this as a secret. But what I see is people don't understand how to separate the two. You had a whole lifetime of building up humanity, and you're trying to define your spirituality through your humanity. You're going through the wrong vessel. You don't define spirituality through humanity. You define spirituality by realizing spirituality. 
and putting your humanity on the back burner or the back seat to what your spiritual revelation is. So in the in the line, you'll hear me always say you shouldn't have an agenda. Because the deeper meaning of not having an agenda meaning is you cannot bring your human reasoning into your spiritual path. The only thing you're here for with no agenda, with no reasoning, is to see where it takes you, where it takes you, what revelations you have based upon you doing a certain amount of spiritual work. What does it mean to you? You're not here to sync up with what I say. You're here to sync up with whatever revelation that gives you an aha moment. Therefore, you won't have an aha moment because most of the humanity that you even think you are was actually created for you any motherfucking way. Mm -hmm. So what you even think you are is not even you. You think, I'm panicking, and I like mayonnaise, and I don't like mayonnaise. That ain't even you. That's because Mm -hmm. someone in your house never ate it and your mother never liked it or whatever. Whatever experience that that the world has shown you is why. You know what I'm saying? You, if, if nobody told you any different, you'll be breastfeeding right now. 40-year-old nigga, mom, can I get some titty? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if nobody told you that was out of order, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You're an African-ass naked. If they, told you, if, they, if they told you in America, that's not how we roll. And so you don't roll like that. You know what I'm saying? But you go to certain parts of Africa, balls deep. You know what I'm saying? In the Makembe dance. And nobody's worrying about Nobody's worrying about, guess what, this nigga's ass is too close to me while we eating and all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? This shit that we worried about. That's all directed for you. But, I mean, to get a little deeper in it, you know, when you're a child, you know, black people and white people are animals, your ass will be an animal until your parents trained your ass. You respect Mm -hmm. elders because somebody told you to. It's not like we were born to respect elders. You know, your grandmama stank until somebody said, you don't do that to the elders. Eat broccoli, not ice cream. You, you sit there now, bitch. Give me ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Until your mother fire that ass up. Mom, right. I think I'll have an extra serving of broccoli. All that shit is straight. <laughs> Especially with a woman, cross your legs, sit up straight. A woman doesn't do that. You look with a man. Look, your, look him in the eye. Shake his hand firmly. Always speak up. Never hold your head down. Always say please. Say please. Thank you. Exactly. Oh, we, we we give we we run through the whole line. So your humanity is nothing but what they call morals, which is an invention which isn't real. Moralism does not exist. It's a product of the ego, mm-hmm. because what's moral here may not be moral there. Exactly. What's accepted in the right. South may not be accepted in the North, which means it's not real. It's just based upon social behavior, which means it's not real and it's created for you. Even Freud told you about the id, super ego, and the ego. I think it's the it, I believe, when I was reading that shit as a teen, which is, the, is, the, is, is morality. And you, you basically, you know, how many times have a nigga cut you off from track and you want to choke them out? But your moral says, I can't do that. And right. really, and as we talked about earlier, that's really only based on fear of going to jail. Because if you didn't go to jail for choking a nigga out, it would be a bunch of choked out motherfuckers for just nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Choked out motherfuckers for taking the last goddamn Sprite. At you know what I'm saying, quick trip and all the rest of that, because you know what I'm saying, niggas be shot. And, well, that's actually happening now anyway. But you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> niggas is actually shooting each other over soda anyway. You know, and so but but you know it would happen more often if you didn't fear consequences. You get what I'm saying? Fear. They've been running this place with fear. So the idea is. Like I said, like I said, the brain must inhibit our true nature and divine consciousness to survive in the physical world. So you you give this up, you, you give up your birthright just to be human. Period. Not what type of human, not a good human or a bad human. All that can be defined later. Just to be human, you give up your divi- your, your divinity, just to function in the physical world, just to be trained in this best case scenario. In everyday life, we see everything back to front as it were. We perceive primary actions of the brain as providing us with sensibility and and cognitive awareness. In fact, the brain's mechanism is to filter and shut out the flow of divine consciousness. The brain's natural mechanism, he's telling you, is to to filter out divine consciousness, which means you have to do things to allow divine consciousness in. 
You have to do things. You have to do the meditations. You have to do the work. You don't just get it because you got melanin. You get what I'm saying? Which is you don't just get it because you changed your name to my yacht. You don't just get it because you twisted your hair up. You don't just get it because you're wearing a whole three-piece kente of suit. You get what I'm saying? You don't get it because you just sit in the lotus position and go, oh, and I do yoga, and you don't, bitch. You don't get it because of that. You get what I'm saying? You get it because you, right. You get it because you do these things. Right. You get it because you do these things with an intention, uh, uh, with no agenda. You, you're not there to show the world what you do. You're there to show you. What it, what it, you, you're, here, you're there to realize what it is you are, and that really comes from letting go, stripping away, not gaining. We, we're in this mentality. We need to gain, gain more information, gain this, add this to your friends and shit, and add that, and, mm-hmm. and, and go here, go that. But you're actually giving up what is what you have been built up to be as a physical entity. You're actually giving that up. You're actually giving that up. That's the price of your divine self, humanity is the price. It comes at a cost. It comes it comes at a cost of your divine inheritance, which you must claim. You don't just get it because you're a Negro. You know what I'm saying? Just because fucking Louis Latimer invented the light bulb, that don't mean you the shit. You know what I'm saying? He did that. You know what I'm saying? He did that. You know what I'm saying? Jackie Robinson hit the home runs. You ain't did nothing but sign on the Facebook, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you need to get that correct. So the only exactly. thing you really could do is the only thing you really could do is this internal quest. You were born here by yourself for a reason. That reason is you went under the illusion of individuality for this invis- in- invisible in- in- individual path back to the collective, back to the total realization of what you are. Coming to America, you left Zamunda to find Lisa. They only bring her back to the kingdom. That's the classic fairy tale story. You're finding a new love. They say you can get any woman you want, meaning you already accomplished a certain amount of light or love. He said, but yeah, I need a new bitch, and I must go to earth as a poor man or a human. It's nothing but a poor man. I am a simple goat, goat farmer. My home is very poor, very, very poor. <laughs> and that's for a reason, because... The, and, and that that reason is because you're not here. Let them have our princely robes. You don't remember that? That's 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 because they're saying we don't need that down here. You don't need to be Mister Mister Fantastical Melanin Man down here. You defeat the purpose. That's what you are, and you realize these things to re- to actually get out of here. Because contrary to public opinion, you're gonna fucking die. What's gonna happen when you're gonna die? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It may not be cataclysmic. In in, in, in in Mayanistic in his nature, but one day you're going to kick the bucket. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You may have just fucking pass out at Burger King in the parking lot, no eating a fucking, you know, the McRib is back, and then you go get a McRib and just fall out. You know what I'm saying? May not be as dramatic as you thought with with, a, with the apocalypse and crazy of Coltoon coming back. You just fell out eating a McRib, you know what I'm saying, a shamrock shake. And, and it may not be that deep, but then that's where the light being comes in. Because now you don't no longer have a physical vessel. You are that light. And what work have you done because you have the same mind? Nothing. And you're born again. Doing it over. <laughs> you get a do-over. You get a do-over. So you get down here to come here again to learn about how bad Frankfurters are for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 20 years old. Really? I'm not supposed to eat frankfurters and frozen pizza? Oh, god damn it. it really is called kundalini? Something, and then you get to say this, something in me. I know I heard this before. I know it was something in me before. How can I get a herd back? You know what I'm saying? I, some always told me, yeah, you fucking, you failed on that time. So you're doing a do-over, nigga. Something always told me when I heard the word kundalini, I just knew it was something in it. And weren't we Egyptians? Like, oh, fucking, you're, in, you're in 2047 doing the same goddamn shit. A whole new nigga. A whole new nigga, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, chakras. You're in the chakras. Yeah. Something's, 
Somebody said the shopper. Is this all? Oh, I had a dream about the shot. Shut the fuck up. Quit it already, nigga. Quit it. You know what I'm saying? Give it. You know what I'm saying? Give it up. Learn uh, the shit now. Get out of it. You know what I'm saying I'm not stuck down here. I did the work. I came down here to do this. I can leave any time. Yes, sir. Now I was going to say we're going to go to the phone line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we can do that. Like, oh, hold, hold on. The Kundalini thing is just, just always eating at me. It's always eating at me. You're a pineal so gland. You're a pineal gland. You're with the pineal gland. It's pineal. Oh, yeah, I keep saying pineal. Like, shut the fuck. I told you that your last lifetime, nigga. Oh, my goodness. It's yeah, area code two one five. Area code two one five. You on the line? Peace, peace. Can you hear me? Yeah, peace, God. Yeah, peace, God. Peace, peace, Lord. Hey, quick question, man. Um, oh. both for both of you. Oh, um, you can answer. What up? What up, Alain? What's, what's happening? Peace, 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 Lord. Your phone a little choppy, man. Just quick question, man. I know a lot of people got their hands up and whatnot. Um. But the panic, I think I heard you, and Aleem, I want you to build on it as well. Um, mm-hmm. Especially you, you, just, you just said something like, we all going to kick the bucket. We're going to face mm-hmm. that reality. And I think mm-hmm. I may have heard either you, Brother Panic, or maybe even Bob, Bobby, and or um, building on the transition of Michael Jackson and how mm-hmm. the emotions of the people was actually slowing him mm-hmm. down in his spiritual evolution on the other side. So basically the people were trapping him on this plane, so to speak. My question is, since humans can project their thoughts onto people, did we, the people, potentially interfere and or stop Bobby's spiritual progression by pulling him back to this reality and not wanting him to go to the other side and progress in his next form? Great question, but for Bobby, no, and for Michael Jackson, no. Um, Michael Jackson wasn't conscious like us. He didn't do spiritual work. His this, his energy was a reflection of how powerful he was. Now, the, mm-hmm. we're talking about the average Joe Aunt May who doesn't understand the concept of death and totally fear of it, who has the same mind who dies, who still relies on people and doesn't know how to deal with energy or light energy. So mm-hmm. this whole this whole conversation is about light and mastering light energy. So now for me, for Bobby, who has mastered our own light energy, no matter how we we don't have a connection with humanity, so humanity's cries does nothing for us. We've gone beyond humanity. That's another reason why I tell you you have to get past humanity. So when we've gone past this humanity, no matter if oh Bobby, we want you here, he's beyond that decision of pulling him back. You get what I'm saying? Now if he was if he was Uncle Joe, you know what I'm saying, who ain't got nothing but his family and his job, you know what I'm saying, and his Tipperello cigar. There's nothing he knows that's beyond that, or he doesn't know there's light or energy beyond that. That's when humanity can have a big effect about pulling people in. You get what I'm saying? So, gotcha. so, 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 ultimately, for conscious people, you're trying somebody who's not conscious. You're trying to push them to the next level. See, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, he came down here clearly a god, clearly an advanced being. Ain't no doubt about that. But he didn't come to do conscious work. At least mm-hmm. conscious on the level we're talking about, because right. his work was conscious, and he had, and you can see the consciousness throughout his lyrics and throughout his life. But so mm-hmm. for a time for him, with us holding him back, you know that, um, you know people going want Michael Jackson there. It may work for a time for him, but his energy is so powerful. Once it starts vibrating with those higher frequencies of light, it's basically like getting further and further away from the human pull. But if he was a crip, Tukey Williams, you get what I'm saying? who don't know nothing but humanity, humanity has more of a hold on you. So ultimately, your conscious path, and me always for years, Bobby for years, always talking about get past humanity, get past humanity, because when you do die, and, and you have the same mind, and you at least expect something greater than humanity, you're doing good. So it's not even like, you have to get to a level that Panic's talking about or a level that Salim's talking about or a level that Bobby's talking about. Everyone here who's conscious at least understands within their heart that there's something more. So even if you still have human hang-ups, you know you're going to die, but you still expect there's something more. So that alone 
will be a saving factor for folks. Just the more you understand and deal with life, the more you're ready for your true life. So this on earth just represents like going to college. You get what I'm saying? So by doing this, when you, are, when you walk into those realms of light, it's a familiar place. You're just putting on your old boots. When you, when, 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 when you haven't dealt with this level of light, it may be harder for you to adapt to it. But as conscious people, we don't have the same problem as the human person. There's, other people ain't looking for light. They're looking for Jesus. So right. if Jesus ain't going to come and somebody say, oh, God, I wish T.C. was here, boom, they're born back in another body doing it all over again. So for Bobby, that doesn't that wouldn't work. His and he know he he knows game. That that's that's not even an issue. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's not even an issue for him. For 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 your uncles, that would be an issue. You know what I'm saying? For like Trayvon, maybe that may be an issue. You get what I'm saying? For uh, mm-hmm. for for what, what's the dude? See, uh, uh, what's the dude? Uh, John Coffey. That's per, prime example. <clears throat> When I went on to him, because uh, first of all, I mean, he was an all right actor. Let's get real. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, Michael Clark Duncan. I heard he was a, a wonderful guy. But uh-huh. sometimes the best thing you can do for people is not bother them. Like, you know, apparently, did you talk to Michael Clark Duncan? I'm like, for what? You know what I'm saying? So I can hear him go, they angels in heaven. You know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes it's better just to leave them alone. Instead of just, what am I going to talk to him for? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or if people just love him so much, talk to him yourself. So the idea is sometimes who says he even wants to talk to your black ass? You get what I'm saying? Exactly. It's so much of that. Michael Jackson, ain't nobody going to pass up the opportunity. You get what I'm saying? You know, because he meant so much to so many people. Michael Clark Duncan, that's John fucking Clark, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's the kind of thing where somebody like him you can actually do damage. But, you know, te- and, and this is my best guess because I don't know what he was really into. You know what I'm saying? Of, but he was with Amarosa. <laughs> so that kind of tells you how far he went, you know, wearing dresses and all that kind of shit and, and moves. You know what I'm saying? Just a matter of fact, you know, you're going to eat your cornbread ass nigga. You can't be into too much. She leave the lights on, boss. I tried to help. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't talking to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Remember that movie where he's holding the white girls, yelling, ah, ah, like, fuck that. I can't fuck with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I tried to help him, but I was too late. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I mean, may he rest in power and all those things, but what the fuck I'm going to get from him? I'm not trying to talk to fucking Bruce Lee, nigga, Jackie Chan, goddamn Our Man Flint or somebody, you know, James Bond even. Before I talk to John Coffey, you know what I'm saying? There's many black motherfuckers who die today who just know more. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be talking to fucking, you know what I'm saying, Louis Latimer, nigga. <laughs> but, you know, W.E.B. Du Bois. <laughs> you know, Crispus Attucks. <laughs> Some fucking body. <laughs> you know, John Coffey. So, like, somebody like him, especially someone who had a big placement on Earth as a human, that ties you in. See, that's also another agenda why why we think we're moving up, but they would show you people like Puffy, Mace, and, and, and Jay-Z, where they constantly grilling in these kids' heads about the importance of money and material shit. So much so, my fucking son is, literally has anxiety attacks because he ain't got that shit. <laughs> That Jay Z <laughs> that Weezy and them niggas are talking about. I'm like, look, motherfucker, you, you, what you talking about? You live at home, you're like you eating for free. You know what I'm saying? Turkey burgers are on me. You stop. You know what I'm saying? I got to do that. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> Why, nigga? Because you ain't got to escalate. You're fucking twenty years old. You got to escalate, nigga. <laughs> like. It's, 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 it's insane, but then we started realizing he's 24 hours. I got bitches, I got money, got money with my bitches. My bitches are money. I'm fucking on my money. It's like, what? It's like, <laughs> like what the fuck are you listening to? And, and I'm like, this shit is programming. Because remember, the subconscious mind, which is your reality, is learned through repetitious programming. So, repetition, I got money, got bitches, got bitches, got money. My younger son, he figured the shit out. He watched the old school shit with me. He was watching Page and Full. Said, "Okay, I get it now. New York niggas was about money, and them L.A. niggas was about gang banging." I was, boom! Now you're on to something. 
I said the fucked up transition between the two was Master P. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> South and money. That's where it's fucked up at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, now we're going to watch motherfucking. <laughs> I got the hookup so you can see the tragedy of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So he'll get it. You know, Kenan and, and uh, Aline knows both of them. You know what I'm saying? So, and Kenan. Ah, uh, this nigga, this nigga where this nigga came in with a bunch of fake gold one day, just practicing. Nigga had to put the practice gold on. He had a bunch of practice gold on. I'm like, wait a minute, where the fuck? When did you start working? Because you need to get in with some of this goddamn cable bill, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You changed on now. This is all fake panic, fake ring, fake chain, fake earring, fake diamond earring, and it's like. Oh, you practice it. You got practice going on. <laughs> so I'm like, go ahead, practice, kid. You know what I'm saying? Shit was real, like, extra. It, it looks like, actually, it looks like costume jury. It looks like some shit you wear to the to the ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to the, like, a masquerade ball. <laughs> like, you got on costume jury, nigga. Where you, where you get that from? Like, you know, I'm trying to see if you stealing this. He's like, oh, this is all fake. I'm like, you wearing straight costume jury. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, all right, I, you're practicing. You're trying, you know what I'm saying? So th- th- that type of thing is an attack because, now, mind, mind you, when you die, see, oh, and let me explain this because people tend to think, and I, this is something I teach in my classes. Look at a bird. A bird is in the sky and it's flying, a bird's eye view. So if you had to travel to a location that was a mile ahead of you, that represents a mile in your future. It represents, say you try a mile an hour, an hour away, you're going to be at this location. The bird in the in the sky can see that location already. So to the bird, that location is in its present, while for you, that same location is in its future, while that bird is right over your head. So the bird's eye view represents something that can see the future. So that represents your spiritual eye. So these people or these ancestors or relatives that have passed can see from the bird's eye view. It doesn't mean they're smarter all the time. It just means they can see things that you can, and they can help you because they can see ahead, if you will, or behind you, if you will. So you can get guidance from you from that level of understanding, but it doesn't mean they went to this divine light and they're smart because their minds are the same. So if they were some grits and cornbread eating niggas here, they're grits and cornbread eating there, they're just some grits grits and cornbread eating niggas that can see further than you. Therefore, you still can get information out of them. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now, so so so, because we tend to think you die, and all of a sudden, you know, you start pop locking. Mm-hmm. No, you have the same mindset. There's a book by uh, I think it's Ross Haven, uh, astral travel book. It's uh, it's a it's the little blue book called the astral astral world. Let me let me just find it and stop bullshitting. Uh, and I'll give you the actual name. It's everyone's seen this book. It's one of the best books. It's called Astral Travel by Gavin and Yvonne Frost, Your Guide to the Secrets to the Out-of-Body Experience. Now, it is real corny in the beginning, but it picks up towards the end because it gives you real details about the astral world. And when I was into astral traveling, I started to see these things. And what it would would tell you, you would see a lot of people around churches in the spirit world. In fact, so much so, that's where I would see everybody. In fact, I would go as far as to say as I've taught in the spirit world more than I've taught on this planet. There's motherfuckers who I've met as spirits that I've freed with information in the spirit world more than people here. In fact, there's things that went down with the lean with, with channels that came through for him, and I've seen thousands from an event that he's done where he set up him and his teacher, who's already on the other side, has set up lodging for a whole dimension of niggas, hands down. And when this was going down, I was hitting the lean with shit that he know I didn't know because that's what we're doing here. So in the spirit world, the teaching goes on. Just because you die, become disembodied, and lived in the astral world doesn't mean you got it. Some motherfuckers are stuck. What usually happens is your soul, which is forever, moves on either to, to, a, to a, let's just say, serious or higher dimension or out of this place, or it gets another body on earth. And most people are just hanging around until they get reabsorbed into another body 
because they don't know what to do next. They're waiting for Jesus. They're waiting for Allah. They're waiting for Buddha. They're waiting for the Mahdi or some guy kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Kali even or Oshun, <laughs> and none of that exists in that context. All right. they're talking about is energy, and they're giving it personality and characteristics exactly. yes, to explain it to you on, in a physical form. But all you're dealing with is energy and light in each cases with detailed descriptions based upon the mythology or the characteristics of that deity. So Oshun getting mad at you for not putting out water is fucking foolish as the electricity in your wall getting mad at you for not giving it water. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is respect how the electricity in your wall works. Plug it in and don't stick a fork in it. And you exactly. So, so the concepts of dealing with these deities was the concept of dealing with them dealing with energy work the right way. You get what I'm saying? So once you understand you're only dealing with energy, this shit is all about energy and light, and you're becoming that energetic light being, your power becomes too much for human thought, which is a low form of energy, and really uh, only the energy that you agree to. You get what I'm saying? Because if you think you're not better than it, you're affected by it. When you see, see, we always think we're better than it. That's why I remember when you was little playing in the basketball court and all that other shit, you was doing some amazing shit. And then when you got old, you used to walk by that basketball court and say, I can't believe I used to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you just become more and more adult, more and more mm -hmm. human. This, oh, I, Roosevelt Island, I grew up in Queensbridge, right across the border. It was Roosevelt Island my grandmother lived. Anybody who's been there, we come off the tram, they got a two-and-a-half-story escalator. If you fell off the side of this motherfucker, it would be a straight two-and-a-half-story drop. You're dead. You're not walking that shit off. You know what I'm saying? Huh. All we used to do was just go up and down and slide this motherfucker. And we got old. With my same friends, I said I was two years old. We used to sit around and go, you know, we used to slide off this motherfucker. We'd have been dead if we would have just known what we know now. And then my nephew, who also grew up there, was like telling me we used to slide up there. He's like, y'all some sick motherfuckers. See, he's from the Nintendo age. So his adventure was Donkey Kong Country. So he didn't need that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, Mario, you know what I'm saying? He did enough jumping in Mario. Exactly. So he was like, ooh, what y'all was doing that for? What kind of niggas with y'all? I'm sitting there like, yo, this was fun. But we would have been dead. But see, this is something it would I wouldn't even fathom doing again because you're too adult. You got out of it. So, you would, so it's only your agreement that you're a human or on this level. That doesn't stop just when you die. Most of us agree that we're human and we're waiting for a higher power to come and rescue our ass. And then since it never comes, you're just sitting around waiting for this higher power. There was a certain mm -hmm. level of my astral travel where I, as I'm gazing, dozing off, I could feel people in the spirit world calling me just the same way we call spirits and me agreeing to come and then going into the dream world and actually explaining to them and helping them with their plight which is usually represented as a white man, too, ironically, which is not like he's a, not like he's a force to be reckoned with. It's just only rep Because the white man is only just but a, 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 a certain level of degraded Negro. Uh -huh. And it, he only represents a, a time of oncoming events. So I was trying to explain to him, when the greenhouse and this show up, your guys are about to transform, it's about to happen on Earth, that type of thing. And then there's times people have called me to churches. I'm sitting around churches talking to hundreds of motherfuckers. This is how you do that. I can't do it for you. You have to do it. And then oddly enough, in that book, that astral travel book, they talk about they talk about how you will go and see people sitting around churches waiting, waiting for something. But they don't know what else to do. The sign, remember, the, the, the Camites taught the kids what death was because... They knew this wasn't shit. Your whole entire life was the study of death. Not because it was morbid, because it was real life. Right. It was the reality. How to go and never come back. So us yeah. not even just having a basic comfort with that transition is a problem. You get what I'm saying? So your mind doesn't change. You get what I'm saying? The only thing that changes from our perspective is the body. The soul is forever. The spirit will die eventually in the astral world if nothing is there to remember it. The soul is what's forever. And the soul travels between all in all three places. There's his pure self in the higher realms, 
they're the Ka in the astral realm, meaning it has a spirit body and a physical body on Earth. The physical body never leaves Earth. The Ka exactly. travels between the Ka travels between the astral world and in Earth. Meaning, when you go to sleep, your Ka, while your body is sleeping in your bed, your Ka and perhaps your soul, depending on depending on I mean, your soul, is really the light part of you that just. And you can look at that as lucid dreaming. When you're a little bit more lucid, some of your consciousness or your soul is traveled with you in the astral world. When you just crash out, some of your consciousness and soul just stayed in the body that night. When you deal with the astral traveling or the lucid dreaming, what's happening is you're learning how to bring more of your consciousness into the astral world. So that's why when people always tell you that thing, apparently I woke up and I couldn't move for a while and I eventually moved. How spiritual is that? That's just something called sleep uh, sleep paralysis because your spirit comes into your body in sections. So if you become conscious before your spirit enters your body, you're just aware, but the spirit which animates you has to be back in your body. So your ka or your spirit double is back in your body. When you go to sleep, it travels. There's a silver cord that, that stretches, and it goes wherever it goes and on and on. When you die, that silver cord is severed. The body decays on earth, and in the astral world, that's where your spirit now lives. The soul will live now that you're dead. The soul will live with the spirit. Two things will happen. The soul can get a new body, or the soul can move on, because that's what's real about you. Now, you, let's say you get a new body. You now Leonard, you was Abraham Lincoln, now you're Leonard Johnson. Because we enliven Abraham Lincoln's spirit, he's on the $5 bill, he's taught in every class, we always still talk about him, there was just a movie about him. The spirit can still survive in the astral world while his soul may have been incarnated someplace else or moved on and got out this realm altogether. If we stop talking about him, like, see, like a slave named Anime Jenkins, nobody fucking knows, the spirit eventually dies because there's nobody that's enlivening it with sacrifice, attention, and so on and so forth. So we need to understand, and also understand the astral world is a part of the illusionary world. It is a part of the illusionary world. It's just a greater part. Again, cannot state it enough. You must watch the movie What Dreams May Come. We will get a real detail understanding Robin Williams, Cuba Gooden Jr., Annabeth Ciara, Stigora, whatever the fuck. You, you watch that, you'll get a detailed understanding of you get a detailed understanding of the spirit world. You know what I'm saying? Um, of how the astral world works. How you cre- they tell you how you create there with your mind. Everything we talked about. How how. He, he was he was when he died he went to this painting and he said he's like where am I he said well you and your wife enjoyed this painting y'all thought it was your idea of heaven so you're in your idea of heaven so your mind creates your idea of heaven Bobby Hemmett's mind even Michael Jackson's mind based upon fucking that Michael Jackson was making heaven on earth fairyland you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. exactly. Jesus juicing Jesus juicing them niggas you know what I'm saying. This Jesus J juice J juice and nigga. Because um and because uh so so you know he has the concept of imagination, which is the most important thing. Visualization is the most important thing. If you can only see what people have for you in this misery, then then you done. That's why I, that's why I tell you the most important thing that we're doing that's fucking us up is focus on this misery of Illuminati YouTube a war. Okay, that's probably one of the most. Okay, so we're gonna come back. Okay, we're gonna come back next week and continue with a little bit more of the science, getting more questions and answers. We're gonna be doing this a lot. You need to stay in tune, you know, to our new joint First World Order Radio. That's what it is. This is the new. This is the new hot. This is the news. The new place to be. So tell your friends. We're trying to build up a major audience. Once we have a major audience, we can do things face to face, lecturers, meet and greets, you name it, the sky's the limit. We are always open for suggestions. We think there's something we should be doing or something you find interesting. We can we could unify with uh ritual. Anything's the limit of what we're trying to do. We need you to start telling people about this hot Wednesday nights. And like I said, Raleem is always doing the show. 
You'll he- you see me here often. You're mm-hmm. going to see more guests here often. If you feel you can hold down a radio show, let me see what you got. And then, you know what I'm saying, we're willing to share. You get what I'm saying? What we got going on here, because information is information. We're trying to do this with no egos and none of that. And, exactly. you, know, we, you know, it's all about informing folks. So, so you know, this this is this is this is this is the our mission statement. So you know you need to, need to you know stick with us. And again, of course, email me panicpackhotmail dot com. Find out what's good with the class, the class cycle. I cannot stress enough. What I do in class is not an extended lecture. It will take you to the next level. If you're really trying to fuck with this, then the class is the thing to fuck with. As as we move into the pineal thing. The herb pack is something to fuck with. You need to fuck with it with the mentality of what you're doing. And if you already have the herb pack, then you need to smoke it with the mentality after hearing this lecture and watch what level it takes you once you start adding this information or this practices to it. Of course, that's the dog meditation and so on. Y'all need to see a lean on Facebook, deal with some of the things he got going on. He has classes as well. I'm saying he's, he's, got, he's got cornerstone things in this conscious community that you can use that are proven for transformation. So, I mean, anybody who's trying to get their work on, you need, if you don't know who Brother Aleem is, I'm really surprised at you. But if you don't, he, he lectures himself detail. I bring him in, my, him in myself, and now that it's getting warm, it may be something we may be trying to do too, but we're gonna, that is based upon how many people we start seeing showing up, which is a lot of people at night. So, Tell your friends. Not everybody knows about it, so we're, we're counting on you guys to spread the word. We come on every Wednesday night, and you can look for Dr. Lean Bay on um, Blog Talk. It's Blog Talk Radio backslash Lean Bay L. I'm sorry, A L I M B E Y. So just look for Blog Talk Radio. Search Lean Bay or Blog Talk Radio dot com. Aline Bay, one word, L A L I M B E Y. Again, that's blogtalkradio.com, A L I M B E Y. For all those who are us on YouTube, this is where you go. It happens every Wednesday night. Lean will be on, and, I, and you'll hear me here more than often. We start at 8 p.m. sharp, and this is where you want to go. Uh, all the radio, final lead. Finally, we are on the air, no doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about... What is taking place on the planet? There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance System regulates to bring about specifics In the group based on value and natural characteristics Current radiates electromagnetistics Of sound through the air Same that your thoughts transmits it Proceeding others in time, order, importance The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments Earthly state of human concerns in existence An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance System regulates to bring about specifics In the group based on value and natural characteristics Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. 
this is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. 